Welcome back to the Extra Yard. I'm Chris Stefano. This is Giannis Papas. We are the History Hyenas, and we are both transgender Eskimos. Yeah, that's what we are today. <laughs> And that's just today. And that's okay. And you can laugh at that. And I and I understand that. But, but that's what we identify as today. Yeah. And there's nothing that you can really say against that. Because right now I'm feeling like a transgender Eskimo. I want to tuck my dick back and put a Klondike up my ass. And that's what okay. he wants to do. And you yeah. guys laughing at us. That's, uh, you know, I don't know if you're doing that to punch down or punch up. No, I'm laughing with you. Okay, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I that's a good laugh. I laughed okay. at a last. Okay. Okay. Just don't punch down. Because no, no, make no. no mistake, yeah. we have on a couple of cute sweaters. We do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys, you do. And you guys are kind of matching, too. This yeah. one's more like, you know, knitted. It looks like yeah. someone's grandma made it. This yeah. one is like you bought at J. Crew. If yeah, I, I bought it at Banana down. Republic 10% off. Yeah, we yeah, look yeah, like yeah. backup dancers for a rapper or something. Remember, they always had matching outfits. They did. Yeah, they did. You guys are look like a like a Christmas card. And you guys are matchy matchy, too, both in black. Oh my God, what is yeah, this? Yeah. I like Every it. time we do a podcast together, we look like versions of ourselves. Yeah, that's what yeah. it is. That's what's just, going on? I just posted on the San Agato Studio story uh, that I'm convinced Giannis is my biological father. It looks it's like probably it. true. It yeah, could yeah, happen. Yeah. It could yeah. happen. How old are you? I'm 30. So yeah. So I would have had to have you at. Uh, yeah, I would have been. Uh, I wouldn't have had come in my dick yet, but. Uh, I think you would have had come. 14. No, I was 14. When did you lose? When did you I lose was coming at 14. Yeah, no, I, I don't think I. I don't think I could come till about 15. When no, did you no, that's late. That's late. That's not normal. That's not normal. Nope. Yeah. That's a late developing body. Yeah, I don't think... Yeah. I think 14, I was doing that. You know, like... No, I was you, you were nuts. coming at 14. Yeah. yeah Absolutely. Yeah, you're sure. Dude, that's, that's, that's grade fucking, high school. I was yeah, fucking high school. at 14. Yeah. I ate, uh, mine was 18. You kids these days. Yeah. yeah. We first girl I had sex with, black, nice, hot, half black, half Jamaican, half Italian girl. Yeah. First nice. girl I had sex with was half black and half white. Yeah. No, they're the best. Yeah. yeah. I remember we had sex and I swear she came to my house and she had on a do-rag. I'm not lying. Nice. She had on a do-rag and she loved playing basketball. And um and she was hot. Was I she was, a guy? She might have been a guy. <laughs> and we had sex. She asked if my mom was home, and I said no. And then she, I swear she asked me to get her some apple juice. I guess that's what turned her on. Yeah. And then we had sex, and I got like three or four pumps, and it was bad, man. Like it was really, really bad. My, oh, it was it was a quick thing. Quick. She had already had sex, so I was already like really insecure about that. And my emotions tipped. I remember I went in the bathroom. I started like tearing up. I had a lot of Catholic guilt. I felt like yeah. I disrespected my mother. Yeah. And, and and then and then I remember we hung out for like another two times, and then it was over. Did and she that, keep the do rag on during the she sexual kept the, act? She kept the do rag on during the during sex, and she just so had a sports even, bra on. So you couldn't pull her hair. You just had to put your hand on her head. Yeah. No. It was, and, it was like very you were fucking Baxter. Kenny Smith. And I remember. <laughs> It's very love and basketball. Love and basketball. And I'll yeah. never forget, I remember like for background noise, I put on Ace Ventura when nature calls VHS well, yeah. in my room. That's nice. what everyone wants to have sex to. <laughs> yeah. Ventura. Yeah. Have and you I, ever, like, you know when you're having sex though and there is something on the TV and you kind of chuckle at it and it's it's kind of awkward for a second. Yeah. But I'm like, I'm actually listening to the TV while I'm having sex right yeah. now. Yeah. Because I've also gotten head and my fiance is like watch TV while she does it. Yeah. And a part of me feels a certain way about it. But then I'm just like, eh, it's all right. That's real. That's what you call relationship. <laughs> let, her, let her have a good time. Yeah. Let her just catch up on the fucking, uh, what, uh, what's that fucking stupid show? Uh, what? Downton Abbey. Uh, oh, let her, let her I've never up. seen it. Yeah. I've never seen that either. It's terrible. I have seen it's, the crown. It's, it's old. It's old white women talking about being rich. Yeah. Oh, that's real relationship Yuck. sex if you're like watching TV while you're doing it. Yeah, I don't. I used like to. I've done this a million times. Let me put friends on in the background. I, I used so to that I could so, get some pleasure yeah. out of this. Because <laughs> I, used, I used to take it so personally. Yeah. I'm like, well, my dick's not good enough for you. Yeah. It's not entertaining. <laughs> it's not, you don't like this? And then I'm just like, you know what? Yeah, I understand. It's not yeah. a karaoke <laughs> microphone. Like, yeah, yeah. It's just your penis. Yeah, it's just my dick. Yeah. Which is Every probably not great to begin with, let's be honest. And I just got over chlamydia. No, oh, nice, all right. Fellas. nice. Hey guys, yeah. Um, all the all the dick talk brought up your chlamydia. Yeah, yeah it's, it's it's good. I'm clear, but I've been celibate. So the you're last admitting month. it? Is that so? You're admitting it publicly that it was why chlamydia. not? Yeah, it why doesn't not? matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. This is, yeah. this is happening. Yeah, yeah. Is it's, this your first uh, first bout? Oh first no, bout? first bout of chlamydia. Second, <laughs> second. second yeah. But I got the six years ago. I got it, and then um, and which then, is by the way amazing. That he only got it twice? Yeah. Oh, I thought you said chlamydia was amazing. I was just like, <laughs> no. Yeah, how no. was that? How was we that? had Jeff Dye in our podcast. The great Jeff Dye shot him out, and he told us he has chlamydia like four or five times, yeah. and it's just wild. That's legendary. Yeah. It's That's legendary. He puts I, up numbers. I've yeah. had it zero times. Yeah. yeah. I want to go on record and say that. I'm going to go, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go zero, too. Zero. That's, That's zero, but that's yeah. like hosting SNL like seven times. Like yeah. You get chlamydia yeah. like... Yeah, you're a legend. I'm well, impressed. You, you guys, yeah, when may, you do it once, when you get it once, it's like okay, kind of, kind of whatever. But when you get it six times, it's like this. Is not, well, it's pretty. pretty yeah. Here's nice. the thing: you guys may have had it, but your immune system killed it. I have a little weak baby bitch immune system yeah. that can't kill it. Not yeah, your immune bad. system's uh, a little bitch. It's a little. Bitch. It's a little bitch. <laughs> My immune I want to sp
It's what it is. <laughs> yeah. His face is just filling up with blood. Yeah. That's a great way to describe your immune system. It's a little bitch. It's a little bitch, and it's a great way to just describe you as a person. Yeah. You're a little bitch. I'm a little bitch. <laughs> I want to I want to get on something, though, because yeah. we were on their podcast, History Hyenas. You guys should go check that out on YouTube. But Because you're flexing your biceps, and I'm going pewing. Just FYI. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. You're going to get kissed on the mouth. Yeah, uh, I told you last time I'll kiss you on the lips, and now that I'm celibate for a month and I'm chlamydia-free, I'm a little backed up, and I got some juice in my balls, and it could get on your nipples real quick. Well, here's the thing. That's what I wanted to talk about because yeah. we found out on that podcast that apparently you're only shooting gigantic loads, and you can't you yeah. can't come like two days in a row. You have load. You have a load disorder. Yeah. I shoot ropes. Yeah. If we do it, if we do a sequel podcast about Chrissy's come, that's going to be wild. I'll try to skip over. <laughs> yeah. but I, just wanted, I just wanted everyone. To, I just wanted everyone to know because this is something I've never heard before in my entire mm-hmm. life. But you know, yeah, Chrissy Calpers, my Calpers gland is wild. It's uh, the the Calpers gland is the gland that makes you glue, and um, my <laughs> gland is bigger. So it's I was working sh- overtime. I'm I was shooting more glue. I was shooting more, just real quickly in a nutshell. <laughs> yeah. I was shoot, <laughs> shooting more glue. Um, but as I'm getting older, I'll shoot less glue. Um, but it will actually make my sex drive more normal. While I'll be able to pump more glue out, I'll be able to have sex more times. Good for you. Yeah, and 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 you. get and get my glue gun will be more active than it has been when I was younger. Yeah. If so you're gonna cool. have a disorder, that's a good one to have. Though. If someone yeah, just yeah. tuned in, they think we're talking about construction. We're not. Yeah, <laughs> we're not talking about. Construction. Oh, basement yard. They talk about building yard. Ah, yeah, they talk about the bathroom. <laughs> nice. He says he shoots his glue. Nice. Okay. What, what did he fix it? Today? <laughs> yeah. How many guys yeah. you got tuning in thinking it's like a construction how-to like podcast? Dude, I have no idea, but I will say this: probably a bunch. Back in the day, well, like everyone who like is a, a person, like not, I'm not saying everyone, but like a lot of the people who like my Facebook page, they for some reason think that I'm this like crazy like I don't even know which side left or right not even sure but like anytime I say anything like oh you know what we shouldn't like uh, beat up gay people that's fucked up it's like oh this fucking snowflake yeah. what happened to the old Joe yeah. I was like yo when was I saying that I was like what the fuck when, yeah. when did I beat up that gay dude yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah, what the yeah. fuck are you talking about it's yeah. like what is this shit yeah. or like I put up this thing because we donated our our Patreon in the month of December to building wells in Africa. And so yeah, like, what are you sucking dick? <laughs> it's like, what about your backyard, Detroit, Michigan? Why don't you just fucking Michigan. rename this podcast Hillary Clinton? Yeah, yeah. seriously. That's, yeah, I, that's the character said, piece. That's a character, yeah, character said, piece. Yeah, we just got said, we're yeah. cat, we yeah. subsidiary podcast. Yeah. Sean Terry, uh, Patrick Mulroney. That was yeah. a lot of fourteen. A couple <laughs> firefighters. What involved. are the names again? Uh, I'm Patrick Mulroney. It's my friend Sean, Sean Terry, and we have five fighters. Uh, it's been four thousand eight hundred sixty-five days since nine eleven. Fuck you, ISIS. Well, actually, yeah, we're from this area around here. Just we're from somewhere here. Yeah, and and, and uh, we will save you from a burning building as long as we don't see any pro Hillary yeah. signs up in your apartment. If you got to yeah. take a ferry or a bridge bridge to get into whatever city you live in, that's us. That's where we live. We're, yeah, we're from out there. We do boats and we pay tolls to the bridges. And that's tunnels. what we do. Shout yeah. out, that's absolutely. We and we vote to the right. Everything's to the right. Shout Everything's to the right. Yeah, to the right. it's what it is. Yeah, yeah. Merry Christmas. I don't say do any fucking happy harmonica and the other shit. Merry Christmas. Yeah, no, ha- <laughs> no, no happy, <laughs> happy harmonica. Yeah, <laughs> not, not happy holidays. I don't go to Starbucks uh, ever since they changed. Yeah, no, Merry Christmas and Happy Harmonica. I mean, I, you know, it's like I don't know what these people are doing, yeah. but yeah, no, we'll save you. All right, all right, we're back. Chris is back. Chris okay. and Harris are back. Thank God. Yes, we're back. Hi, hi. Yes. This is the real. Yeah, this is us. Thank Two God. little fucking bitches. Thank God you guys are back because I wanted to talk about your podcast a little bit. So, History Hyenas. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a it's a podcast that's fucking this mess that we have over here, yeah. but yes. it also is kind of founded in this history. Mm-hmm. sort of thing where did that come from well the truth of the situation is this we're both kids for Giannis is a kid really from Brooklyn I'm a kid who was born in Queens but identifies being from Brooklyn so I, we're just two kids from Brooklyn yeah and we both had two to black hi- kids from Brooklyn we nice. bo- we had to hide the fact that we loved history so much because of our Brooklyn roots so when we found each other because you can't the thing is like I live in I grew up in Ridgewood Queens and there's a lot of this it's one of the biggest designated historical areas in the whole country that actually, vote Trump that vote Trump and all the signs are brown they're not green all the street signs are brown and when you have a brown street sign in New York that designates a historical block now I couldn't be open about the fact that I knew that to the McClarney brothers or that he likes guys one of them was in jail because the McClarney brothers if I would have said hey did you guys know that the brown street street signs designate historical block they would have removed the sign and stuck it up my ass <laughs> so I, I can't i can't do that so history was gay history was yeah. gay history or knowledge in my neighborhood is gay also performing stand-up comedy doing anything if you're not a cop fireman or garbage man or construction worker, my, you're, you're full-blown gay they yeah. think no but i'm they, my friends support me but they all like i got a homosexual friend his yeah. name's chris Stefano. you've seen him on on girl coach <laughs> <Just a gay laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. that's my gay friend chris yeah Look he's him. on Look girl 
fuck up. But they're like, it's all. I don't care. He's gay. He's doing his thing. Yeah, he's gay. I support gays. What am I? Good scratch. I mean, hey, listen. Don't get too close to me. Just don't hug me the way you used to, Chris. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna hang out. So that's how we found our love of history because Giannis comes from the same thing. We're like, we love history. We always wanted to like kind of think about things that happen in history and uh, relate them to modern day stuff. And so that's how we came up with it. And then Giannis was obsessed with the animal hyena, so we came up with the name. Yeah, I love hyenas. I love nature, but hyenas, I've always, it's my favorite animal just because of how wild they are. And then just it just came together. They're the, the first, they're the first chicks with dicks. Yeah, they're hyenas. They're, that's a they're true trans. thing. Excuse? They're trans. Okay, let me <laughs> like explain that. it. Excuse? So the, the <laughs> female hyena, the right? female hyenas have a, what they call a pseudo penis. They have a penis that they give birth out of. Fake dick. It's a fake dick. and a, not, They give birth out of their dick? They give yeah, birth out of their but dick. But it's not a real dick, but it it's is a, a pseudo dick. penis. It's a pseudo penis. So that's why on our podcast, we give somebody every week that our best Patreon member, patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys, that a Patreon member that comes up with the best Patreon name, we give them the PPW, the pseudo penis of the week wow. award. Nice. And then prestigious. That's bit, it's yeah. prestigious. So what happens is the hyenas give birth through their pseudo penis, and a high percentage of the time, I don't know the exact number, but a high percentage of the time, it actually, the baby, ex, hyena baby, explodes the pseudo penis stick and kills the mother yeah. and it's also a matriarchal driven society the women are the top of that society not the men yeah. so we figured as two w men who are identifying as women yeah. that we also were very close to hyenas and their main weapon of choice like how a lion you know will go for the jugular or a panther's weapon is stealth hyenas weapon of choice is chaos they actually <laughs> create chaos yeah to to distract the prey and then start killing you one by one and they eat you from the legs first so most animals will crush the trachea and eat a dead animal. They like to eat you alive. Yeah. So it's kind of wild. <laughs> yeah. I never knew any of this. And much yeah, like well, our, now you know. You, you guys are two wild trans boys. Yeah, we're, we are. Absolutely. We're, we're chicks with dicks too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Trans girls, I'm yeah. sorry. Trans girls. I, I, I fucked my pronouns up. Yeah. It's okay. It's Wait, just don't let it happen a, again. I won't, so I promise. How yeah. often are the are the mothers dying from this exploding penis? Just I don't, give a stat. It doesn't uh, matter. 60% of the time, yeah. according yeah. to the New England Journal that's, of Medicine. That's our podcast. We're hyenas because, like, look, if you think we're a history podcast, you got another thing coming. Yeah. We're two comedians who do history. We're two Wikipedia sluts. Yeah, yeah. it's like, listen, we got a manager now, and he's a really he, guy who makes money, and he's trying to listen to our podcast. Cast. We call him the truffle we pig. We call him the truffle pig because he's just a pig that goes out there and little balls of money or like truffles. We just want him to find the little bags of money for us. <laughs> yeah. So we call him the truffle pig and he's trying to tell us, oh, you got to have more of a, of a this, of a that, of a, of a, of a kind of, you know, a structure of the podcast. And we're like, no, that's not yeah, how yeah. hyenas do it. That's I, not how we're going to do it. When I we, love the way you say hyenas. Yeah. Hyenas. Hyenas. We had you guys on our podcast. Yeah. yeah I, I will yeah. say like, <laughs> and we I, talked about Chrissy's come for 40 minutes, 40 minutes. Yeah. 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 Chris is farting. He's yeah. yeah. He's, he's farting it up. He, it off he right is now. a hyena. He doesn't care. Or he's a hyena. Hyena. Yeah. yeah. Well, and your guys' podcast for us it helped us so much because of your guys' rabid hyena fucking fan base yeah, right. that they uh, it, it it was I think our most watched down and downloaded episode that we've ever done. Yeah, and we have similar fans. It's like New York, like it was just a lot of girls named Gina who were like my two favorite podcasts yeah. coming together. Yeah, <laughs> finally something big's happening on the island. My worlds are colliding <laughs> yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah. Oh oh, girls I, girls love saying shit like that and like comments yeah. like oh my god this can't be fucking happening like yeah like this is some astronaut thing that we're doing here I, like we lived on like some yeah. other planet yeah and we came down here and we meshed yeah. and made a show when yeah. i posted on my instagram that we were all together people would like be they the same it was like the same girl with the same look just different handles but all like the same mind they were just like here for it yeah. here for <laughs> it here for it joe chris danny honest here for it it just Dude, kept writing that if we did a mashup <laughs> podcast like a live podcast i think like all the outer boroughs would just be it would be cleared out. It'd everyone, be empty. everyone be in the city that weekend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It'd be, be a lot of traffic on that Staten yeah. Island Bridge. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Yeah. absolutely soaked. Too. Yeah, we, absolutely. We, we'd clean up in there. Oh yeah, Chlamydia we, would come back. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh I'm yeah. getting it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How, yeah. How, Make no mistake. How, I wanted, to, I wanted yeah. to ask you. Yeah. See, I, I've 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 been fortunate to have a clean penis, um, but <laughs> I kind of envy people who have had STDs, and I'm gonna tell you why, because they handle it so well the second time. Like, right. like the first time you get chlamydia, chlamydia, you were probably like, oh my God. Now this time you're like, eh, it's, you know, no, take a week off. Actually, it's actually the opposite for me. The first time I got it, I was like, eh, whatever. The second time, because, you know, I'm older now, I have a kid. It was a little bit like, what are you doing? You know, your dick, my dick stripping at Disney World. It's like, what? <laughs> Did you give your dick a talking to? Yeah, give you my... just look down and go, what are you, what are you doing? doing? You're a bad boy. Yeah. And you got a daughter. Yeah. You got to behave. And, and it was like the doctor that called me, he was a nice guy, the doctor. 
he was just like and a younger guy and he was just like look he goes you know with the amount of unprotected sex you told me you're having out there he said the fact that you only have chlamydia he said you, it has to be a wake-up call it's just a warning he's like i feel like it's a warning from the universe now because he, he's like i just made a call to somebody similar age similar everything to yeah, you yeah, yeah. that does not have this good of news he's got a couple of permanent ones that are positive mm, he said uh. so you got out so scot-free take the medicine it'll go away and then you so i've been actually celibate now for six weeks and the se- the power of saying no to think, women. I don't think that means you're celibate, though. What do you mean? Six weeks is just not. That's like being one and zero and be like we're undefeated. Yeah. We're undefeated. <laughs> that's true. Like, that's true. I've been celibate for uh, six weeks, yeah. but I bet you I can make it. I bet you I can make it a while because I'm addicted now to the power of of just going home and jerking off or just talking to a girl that I actually like and not worrying about having sex with her. Like just being like, oh, you want to? Do you actually want to go get dinner? Because it used to be just come over. Do you want to? Well, let's get pizza and hang out by me. Do you want to just come over? Yeah. That what that was my that's what my life was. But now so you have to get creative. But now, well, no, not even creative. Now it's like I actually prefer to get to know a woman. I'd actually prefer that. Chlamydia has made you a better person. Chlamydia has made me a better person. <laughs> Chlamydia has made me realize that to become friendly with my present. Yeah. Chlamydia made me start listening to Eckhart Tolle, yeah. who's a who's a great spiritual leader. So right. Chlamydia, <laughs> I started I, reading more after I got Chlamydia. Thank you. Uh, yeah, my dick drift right onto a spiritual healing. You're yeah. very <laughs> vulnerable. <laughs> You're very vulnerable right now to be like scooped up and swooped up by a cult. By a cult. Yes. Oh, yeah. If someone comes along with any charisma and who's looking to like as a, as a, as that leadership yeah. quality, he's got it. Chris is gonna follow you. I'm there. Yeah, you're, you're gonna, gonna get a new tattoo. Yeah, and I'm for, there. And for you, I feel like anything you'll ever get into fad wise is gonna come from some kind of sexually transmitted disease. Yes, because it's gonna be like, dude, I'm vegan now. It's like, what yeah. made you get go vegan? Yeah, I had chlamydia. Yeah. Right. You know, like it just right. made you change your life. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. No, most yeah. people have like a person or like you know a mentor. Like, if you ever did that Sam Adams commercial, you ever see that one they're doing now? <laughs> where they go, who's the person uh, you want to dedicate to have a beer with, or you ch- have a cheers to? Right. Yeah. All the comedians are doing it. Tom Segura did it. Oh yeah. Yours would be like, you know, I'd like to have. A beer with who changed my life chlamydia chlamydia <laughs> chlamydia this, taught me to be this a petri person. dish of chlamydia <laughs> this, is, this is this is who i need to thank you thank you so much with a tiny I'm, little bottle of, with the chlamydia <laughs> thank you so much chlamydia I'm, i really I'm, turned it around i'm also like I, I condoms are weird i have this thing like with a condom it's like when i would have to put them on my dick would get soft mm-hmm. yeah. because i'm focusing on you know fucking your Guys, vagina yeah but and your possibly your face, and guys. but like and dudes, yeah. of course. You gotta come on. You know me. You yeah, know I always talk about when, like when you, when people say they go soft in a condom. I was like, yeah, because that's a good time to just think about that you really want to be with a guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, why yeah, I go yeah. soft. You're like, yeah. I just don't want to have a second to think about what I really want. <laughs> well, what, but usually, I am thinking about that. Yeah. But the second I take my mind off, my pee pee goes mimi softy. Sure, that's sure, sure. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm familiar. Yeah. I'm familiar. Yeah. Familiar. And I don't know what that is, but yeah. something is just weird about wearing right. a condom. Inside a vagina, it's very. Weird. It's not natural. It almost it doesn't count as sex. Like mm-hmm. like I I, I want to know your sex number, and you could tell me twenty, but I'm gonna say how many of that was unprotected. And you'll say two. I'll say the one that you had sex with two people. Yeah. Because the other eighteen, you were having sex with a condom inside of another person. Yeah. I think I've worn four <laughs> condoms in my entire life. Right. Wow. You're a kid who likes to go raw D. Yeah. You like to go yeah. raw daddy. Yeah. yeah. I'm you like yeah. a skinny yeah. dip. Yeah. I, I'm on the complete opposite side. Yeah. Of that. You only use condoms. Oh no, that's not. The, I'm not gonna say that. I'm just saying like I'm not like you know. He's not ten. CP. Yeah. He's not out here CPing. Yeah. Right. 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 You know? Understood. He's Understood. smart. He's yeah. smart. Understood. Very smart. I probably have 11 kids I don't know about. Yeah. yeah. And I wish I did because I'd be able yeah. to claim them on my taxes. Right. Having yeah. a kid is great. Yeah. And it's like having a kid is like, Well, you he's know. Puerto Rican, half Puerto Rican. Yeah. So, so how old is he and how old is you? You could be his dad. I could. No, you're. Th- I'm. I'm 35. Chris, he would have to be fucking oh, you're, at five. You're part Puerto Rican. He might have. Well, no, no but he like we all have the connection. Cousins. You guys are half half Puerto Ricans. He had a character, Marisa, that only is for the Puerto Ricans, and my daughter is half Puerto Rican. So we yeah. all are Puerto Rican. We're yeah. four I Puerto Ricans. I dated a Puerto Rican girl. I dated two Puerto Ricans. Uh, <laughs> his mother is so Catholic that I think it's possible that the only reason he hasn't gotten something worse is because his mother has prayed to Jesus. Right. And There's he, some voodoo going on. I think it might be you. You might. It no, might. But he's saying he never used a condom. He never gets anything. I think that. I think. Do you think they're lying about the stats of the STDs to no, scare I, you? I, I just, I just, or think, think we're just getting lucky here. I think people are just lucky. I like, like honestly, lucky. I'm going to be 100 percent honest with you. Yeah, you're a fuck machine. Yeah. yeah. So, and and the fact that you don't have uh, uh, anything, Ma- Magic Johnson. Uh, f- yeah. The fact that you don't have that. Yeah. Like that doctor said is a miracle. Right. Now with this information. Right. Are you going to start strapping up? Absolutely. I don't believe you. 
I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Just <laughs> you better be careful. You're gonna get a talking to in the gym. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. exactly what I said. I got a talking to. No, 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 no. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna just strap. look at him and say what you said to me, Danny. Don't fucking say that. Yeah. Because when you say that, it makes me feel like I can't do it. Like, yeah. I'll be your condom sponsor. Yeah. Just fucking call me when you're about to fuck. And just be like, yo, I'm no, itching. I'm gonna do. Um, no, because I think what happened was is I started to get that in that zone where I was like, oh, whatever. I don't care. I'm. I'm in my 30s now. I don't fucking care. It's like, I'll go raw dog. I don't care. Whatever. I'll have another baby or disease. I'll just deal with it. But then... <laughs> what kind of fucking <laughs> mentality? Uh, I, I love how you're like mulling over that. Like it's a... You know, when you get older and you start to care less about yeah, it. That's your life. I feel like, listen, you get AIDS in a baby. I mean, what else do you... You got a mortgage. I mean, you're an adult. <laughs> that's how everybody goes. Everyone from the neighborhood's got it. I got to get it eventually. I'll get to it. I'll now, get it. Now you know why it's called history hyenas. Because this kid, he's 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 a hyena. He really is like just a wild. human hyena. He's fucking wild. Have yeah. you guys and then I have to ex backtrack and explain to people what I'm saying. Yeah. Because then people in my personal life go, are any of those things true? And I'm like, I don't know. Yeah. I, I had don't a blackout. I don't, I don't know who I am. We have six <laughs> pending lawsuits against our podcast. It's yeah, what fine. it is. Yeah. We're a podcast that's here for a good time, not a long time. Yeah, we're on the run. We're on the run. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Have, you, have you guys ever done like a history of STDs on your show? No, but that's going to be the next episode. That's what we'll do. Yeah. You, you guys should find out like, we're where, get... where the first case of the clap ever came from. Yeah. Well, there is some interesting history facts about STDs. Let's like go. How much they've played into war. So we did. We were doing an episode um, about uh, World War II, and the Germans, right? It was in the Battle of Dunkirk. So they had cornered the Germans had cornered British and French troops in like a little corner of France, a port city called Dunkirk, and there was a, 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 a there was a war that right before they cornered them in Dunkirk for about eight months because the uh, war just stopped. That happens a lot. People don't talk about that, but like war machines, like they'll just stop. Like for eight months, we'll just be camped. In a place, no, nothing from the enemy. We're like yeah. redoing our battle, you know. Yeah. And I remember that from like school, like being, yeah. it's like World War Two was from nineteen forty something to nineteen fifty. Yeah. I'm like, whoa, wait, wait, wait a second. Yeah, no, These it's, motherfuckers yeah. over there eating canned well, beans for nine years. Yeah. yeah, well, the Americans, it's like I feel like World War Two only starts when the Americans and like they entered in for the end of forty one, so yeah. forty one to forty five. But it was really in nineteen thirty eight it started when Hitler was just like, I'm just going to start taking over yeah. Poland. I don't like, <laughs> I don't like you. <laughs> Hitler was just like, I'm just going to start eating countries next to me. That's but, the crazy thing. Yeah, he was thing. just like, no. at a buffet table and he was just started just ah, like. Ah, Poland. But here's the <laughs> yeah, These are gross. I'll draw them. But here's the little advantages. And I'm sure we only found one example of it. But I'm sure if we search, if we do the history of SEDs, which we will do. Um, so thank you for that. We're going to find more where it's like the the when when they were having the, the part of the war where they would just stop, you know, inevitably like men will be men. Right. So you're in France. So the French and British troops started getting prostitutes the british and french government wanted this they wanted prostitutes and all that to come in to the to the camps to keep the morale up for the soldiers you know whatever so Go suck dick in a war zone right where germany they do they do and all you want to do listen either you're gonna bang that's a, unbelievable either you're gonna bang a prostitute or you're gonna bang a guy or you're gonna bang both and that was my grandpa yeah but but i, I you gotta keep shit living goes, shit goes down in those trenches yeah. shit goes oh, yeah. down. but germany Germany, the Nazis were very much like, we will not have any women infiltrating the, well, nobody, no women. I don't care if you guys got to jerk off, whatever, we're Nazis. This is not, there's no women in this camp. So they were against prostitution. So when they finally came time to invade, when the Germans were invading, I mean, it's more to it. The French and British were also just being, the French were being French and just smoking cigarettes and not learning the manuals of the tanks where the Germans had this new Panzer tank that was rolling over everybody in the German and the French and the British had tanks that were kind of as good but they didn't know how to do the because they weren't paying it they weren't yeah. working yeah. but the biggest thing was they were di the it was rampant chlamydia gonorrhea syphilis through the french and british camp from the prostitutes they were all fighting as sick men where the germans were coming in with fresh dry dicks yeah, yeah. just coming in and clean just, penises like yours yeah. clean a lot dicks. of testosterone built up in those balls so a lot of people believe that the std rates in certain camps in world war ii had an actual impact on the battles because yeah. when you're fighting with a sickness and ill i mean strep throat for your dick it's a problem and you don't feel good it's true and then also historically french are known as to be pussies yeah. absolutely just maybe they just had a bad time with their dicks and yeah, couldn't right. fight well right which is another thing which is well, we, we cover this too on the uh, podcast too about how kind of like misconceptions like they're actually france actually in the 1930s was the number one fighting group force in the world yeah but it's just bad press it's like this west virginia everybody thinks west virginia is like or hick state west virginia it's like in the south they get some of the most uh they get one of the highest percentages of, of students from those schools that 
from those high schools that go to Ivy League colleges. Yeah. But the smear campaign on West Virginia started because in the Civil War, when Virginia, West Virginia was initially fighting with the Confederate South, and then Abraham Lincoln was like, hey, West Virginia, if you come to us, we'll just, it, you, we'll free everybody and everybody, all the slaves will be free and you'll come with the Union. So West Virginia went and fought with the North. They fought yeah. with the North and the South throughout the course of the Civil War. So the Confederacy was like, okay, fuck you, West Virginia. Smear campaign, you're all hillbilly, you fuck your cousins and blah, 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 blah. None of it's true. It's yeah. just a smear campaign. Yeah. It's Wild. Smear I mean, I'm sure a couple cousins have. Sex. Absolutely. Yeah. Without no, a doubt. I, yeah, listen, yeah, yeah. Honestly, that's when I, you know. What when percentage I, would you when put I'm, on that? Anytime I'm in the yeah, mood to have 45. sex. 45. Anytime I'm in the, anytime I'm <laughs> in the mood to have sex with my cousin, we go to West Virginia and that's where we do. We yeah. feel like it's legal there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. It's like going to Vegas to get married. Yeah. 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 You know, yeah. it happens. Just what it is. I feel like I'm learning so much on this podcast. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Well, that's listen to the history of hyenas. Here's the thing about our podcast. I'm dripping. You're going to feel like you learn a lot and then you're going to feel like you haven't learned a lot at the same exact time. Time. Yeah, it's gonna get erased. It's gonna whatever you're learning, you're never sure if it's true. I don't know if anything he just said is true. It is true yeah. to a degree. To a degree. <laughs> if you believe it, it's true. Yeah, it's true. Believe. But that's anything in history. It's like how do you how does a history professor telling me what the facts are? How do you really fucking know? I mean, it's they, all they, a story. They it's read the, it it's in a, a winner. book. And it's yeah. also the people that won. It's the winner. That's why I read this book 1776 about the American Revolutionary War. I read it too. Yeah. And what I loved about that book is he did so much research from the British point of view. He all that got, all David McCullough, the author's research was from the British point of view. So I really was fucking with that. I'm like, yeah. oh wait, 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 wait. So this is this is American ideals is not, you know, what, you, what we learn about, like oh Paul Revere and Declaration yeah, yeah, of Independence. Yeah. None of it's really true. Yeah, like, the other things are true. Whenever you read about like a great leader in the past, like leading his troops into battle, I always wonder, like just. With common sense, you're going, was Alexander the Great in the front? Was he really? Yeah. Wouldn't he have died the first battle? Yeah. Because like that's the, what happens to the kids in that's the front. What, yeah. They don't limp from the front back with a sprained ankle. That's for like, the oh, movie. I got hurt. Yeah. yeah. George yeah, Washington dead. wasn't, he was in the back. He was in the back. He's on some horse. Just, it's just what it is. They're I don't not even fighting. think he was out there. I think yeah. he was on some ship. Yeah. Imagine on, though you're in the fucking war too and your job was just to play drums. Yeah. yeah. What you're going to fucking that? die. Yeah. Absolutely. If you're going out with a drum, I'd be like, dude, I you got to give me walking something. Walking in a battle, banging a <laughs> oh, oh, with the guy with the flute. Like yeah. Christ. At least if you got a drum, you can yeah. hit someone over the head with a stick, but you got yeah. a flute, you kind of. Yeah, well, well, we learned that, you know, the Hessians, which was like the German mercenary fighting force in the Revolutionary War, they talk about this yeah. in 1776. They fought with the British. They would come ashore and start killing uh, American soldiers and skinning their faces and putting their putting the American soldiers' faces on theirs like it was fucking Halloween. So I wonder if they saw a guy with a drum, they'd be like, oh, yeah, he's not. they would cut his fucking head off. I always wonder that, too, in Saving Private Ryan, right? When you see... <laughs> <laughs> wait, yeah. wait, who was wearing... I gotta go back. Okay. Who's wearing faces? The Hessians. Hessians. Was a German mercenary fighting force. Mercenaries are like Britain hired them. So this is another thing about what we learned about just Germanic people, about how vicious they've been throughout yeah. history. Like, yeah. it didn't start with the Nazis. They've always been this way. And yeah. they're still Savage. like that in Ridgewood. But they were, like, yeah. kind of like, like the SEAL Team 6 of Nazis, like, uh, but, like, not ripping people's face off. Like, SEAL yeah. Team 6 shot Osama bin Laden in the eye. These guys just, like, ripped your asshole out. And yeah. wore it as a necklace. They wore they they <laughs> they didn't they had no cause. The British had a cause to defend their colonies. The Americans had a cause to gain independence and freedom, which yeah. is a, a kind of a little bullshit. And I can explain that if you wanted to, but you don't have to. But that's also a little yeah. bullshit. But so the Hessians were just hired to kill. They're yeah. just killing machines. They were hired guns by the British, and they're huge. They were always they were uh, like two inches taller than the average man at that time. So that's a big height advantage. So they were 5'5". Five, five. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they were 5'7". Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And so what they would come, they would kill people. They would kill the soldiers, you know, and then they would sometimes, they would like scalp them, cut their faces off and do kind of uh, desecrate the bodies because they just wanted, they, were, they had a thirst for blood. Where the British were gentlemen fighters, like... They would kill you, but it'd play be, the flute, right? Play, you know, march over you, march like, over you, or if, if you, you were dying. But again, we don't know if that, you know, that's what the British say. I yeah, mean, they yeah, probably that's what the British say. Sad. Yeah, no, you I think they're drinking tea out there. They drink yeah. tea, but yeah, the British were fucking brutal. British yeah. coming, yeah. I mean, if you're in the war, you're brutal. Yeah, but they go to India and they like, they, yeah, they like have a cup yeah. of tea and then they're like, okay, now murder everyone. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, the whole idea of bring on the children, burn them. King and a queen's weird stuff. It's weird stuff. Yeah, it's it's like a little bit like. What do you talk? What do you mean? What are we the queen doing of that? England? What yeah, are you talking about? We My did, daughter says she's the queen of England. Yeah, we did. <laughs> we did. We did a segment. <laughs> yeah. All right, and we talk about some wild shit on the show, right? Shit yeah. that like we could definitely get shit for. But whatever, I'll shit on your chest. I yeah. would love that. Which was invented by the Germans. Yeah. Go ahead. The Unscheißen. Yes. 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 Scheißenheimer. Scheißenheimer. Um, <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> 
Germans are weird. But, yeah, they are. They're, 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 uh, come on the show, Germans. Yeah. Come on. Um, yeah. Well, <laughs> he's lost. Uh, no, no, no. I, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Every got time it. Joe looks out the window and the light hits his eyes, oh, it's unbelievable. I start, he's so handsome. I start to pre come a little bit, and I think the chlamydia is back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's there. It's there. Yeah, yeah. No, but uh, <laughs> we did this bit on fucking. The royal wedding. The, the royal wedding. Oh my god! And we were like, "Yo, this is weird. Like having a queen is just weird." Strange. Got eviscerated. Oh, the, the Brits. Section. The Brits came after us. Really? Yeah, they really were not. Happy like with she's that. a sign of f- fucking loyalty and and, and it's hierarchy. All, it's all conditioned thinking bullshit. It's so th- they're just conditioned to the, think that. What does she actually do out there? Do you know? She. They do. Yeah. Like the the Scandinavian countries have them too, and so they all defend them by going. You know what? They represent the country. They do a lot of. Uh, charity work. Yeah. They go over there and they just make us look good and they, they do some diplomacy. You're going like, they, they, they're not real. So they're, they're like PR. They're a part, PR yeah, team for I mean, the country. They're right. just kind of a PR team for the country. It gives them something to talk about. But they right? don't do any, they don't make any No, moves. look, you're from right. the old world. Look, right. Europe is like television and America's like the internet. You guys are doing an old way that's over. Like, you know, yeah. that's like a sitcom guy. Yeah. You're king and queen. What are you, fucking 1700s? Yeah. We got that's a president, his name's Donald Trump, and we're all voting What are you him. doing, fucking kings and queens? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we elected him. He, just, he wasn't born with a fucking silver spoon in his mouth. He made it himself. He was elected by the people who have health care. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was can, a character piece. I forgot, character to put, piece. I forgot to put on a voice. Europe's yeah. doing kings and queens in yeah. health care. It's like, nah, guy. Nah, no, guy. It was it was capitalism. Fuck. Let the fucking weak die in the streets. Yeah, street, Trump guy. 2020. The fucking guy, he rose up from, he rose up from, the, gra- from the ground all the way up to become a fucking yeah, billionaire. Yeah, I mean, the next president 2024, Andrew Schultz. Yeah, yeah. I mean, fuck <laughs> <laughs> On a sl- small loan of a million dollars. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's really like old world shit. It's bullshit. I was, I was always so confused by that. I'm like, are they living in this palace? Like, who's paying for all this? It's, it's bullshit. The people, the taxpayers, and they, and yeah. they willingly pay, they which willing- is crazy. And you want to know why they could pay? And they're going to hate you for this. But the truth is, like, whenever NATO goes to war or whatever, and all those countries are in NATO, we fight for everybody. So they don't have to pay their tax dollars for the military. They're paying them for their queen to sit around and take pictures. And that's because they have the luxury of having us fight for them. Oh. So you know what, guys? <laughs> Giannis is going down. Yeah, that's what it is, though. So we might have to, that's I mean, we sent thing. like five hundred thousand troops. They always sound like they send a food truck, and they're yeah, like, yeah, yeah. We're, then they're like <laughs> yeah. the Netherlands is part of this world. It's like, yeah, that, the, you know, guy, no more king and queen. I want, I want some of those hot studs from the Netherlands to put on some uniforms yeah. and fucking get out there. Yeah, Absolutely, get, get soccer, on the field. Get the fucking soccer team. Get out the here. British back into those fucking red coats so I can get a little fucking chopped up when my dad goes <laughs> yeah. to sleep. Yeah. yeah, let's get some of those boys on the field and get your king and queen back on the bench. I love, yeah. I love that America though. It's like obviously we had the Civil War here, and then yeah. we've had some domestic attacks. But like any other war, we're like, nah, no, nah, we're not going to do it here. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. do it at your we house. Don't, we, yeah, we, yeah. we go to their house. Yeah. yeah, we never throw parties at our house. Yeah, no, no, no. we don't want the cleanup. Well, that's why. That's, that's a good why, point. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, that's why I think. That's why I think more than anything that Jesus Christ Himself is an American kid because Absolutely. He put the Atlantic Ocean between Europe and the United States. The only reason why we don't have any wars here is because we got the ocean. And I think Jesus strategically said, that's what I'm going to put America, Dad, because... Explain fun, that. Explain that. Explain, yeah. Explain yeah. that, science. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Big Bang. That. Yeah, I think explain, not. Explain, that. explain how Jesus isn't an American kid from Brooklyn, New York, if he put the Atlantic Ocean on America and he gave the fucking Yanks it's all those mo- championships. It's yeah. Yeah. Explain that. And it's, gave the Yankees. That means Jesus is a fucking kid from Brooklyn. It's yeah, not, he is. It's not yeah. an ocean. It's a moat. It's, it's a moat. Let's keep it out. Let's yeah. keep it out. Yeah, it keeps them all out. So I know Jesus is a, is a kid from Brooklyn, it's like you want to attack me, you can attack me. I got the proof. Yeah, yeah, no, no it, it's there. I mean, it's all there in the pudding. Yeah, yeah. it's all there. Yeah, your, your mom very Catholic. Absolutely, oh, right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> my dad died. I got a sympathy card from his mom. Yeah, really. Yeah, yeah. she and went my, to church and lit a candle. That's how we know my dad is where my, in heaven and the gay part of heaven specifically. Yeah. There's a gay part of heaven that because my dad just, liked to paint, so he's definitely that's where he wanted to go. Right. <laughs> your dad's not. A, his dad's not. A, just like I can comfortably say I'm not 100% straight, and I know Giannis' father's not 100% straight, and neither is Giannis. Yeah. None of us in this room are 100% no. straight. If you watch any of my content, you know I'm not. Yeah, not 100. <laughs> I'm in the high 80s, but I'm not a hundo. Is, yeah, yeah, yeah. is anyone 100, though? No. No. I feel like the people that like tell you you're 100, you're like, yeah. oh, you might be more than me, bud. Yeah, yeah, think, yeah. Do you think exactly. Gay, do you think gay dudes think about, like, I want to just take down a straight dude tonight. And oh, like, oh yeah. Like, yeah. It's a big thing. It's yeah. a big thing. Is that, is that like a big like, sure. subculture? I, I've, yeah. had, I've had conversations with gay dudes before saying like it's like a challenge to be like, oh, that's a straight guy, but I right. bet I can get him Absolutely. to. Like, I'm going to turn him out. Yeah, yeah ex- basically. Yeah. I think they want that more if they can get a little sense of you. I've been told, unfortunately, by a lot of my gay friends that they don't get any gay vibes off me. And I'm like, I feel like it's brewing inside, but they're like, no, you're not gay. That's a phony. You're a phony yeah, gay. I, that's Weird. what it is. I think we're so openly gay with our content yep. that... 
the real gay see right through us. They're yeah. like, you're not gay, buddy. Once those gay eyes get yeah. on us, they glance through us yeah, like a window. Yeah, because even women are like, you're, you know, they'll say, compliment me, and I'm just like, I just talked about sucking cock and taking Benadryls and stuff. And oh, I'm a, I'm a, they're I'm like, a, we love it. Yeah. I'm a pride, <laughs> I'm a pride leader, Benadryls. apparently. Because yeah. like, I'll like, just be like, yeah, whatever. Like, oh, I've, had, I've had gay dreams. Dude, you did a you did a Instagram photo and, and just underwear. You're a, you're being jerked off to by a lot of guys. Yeah, because you're a hardcore bear. Thank you. You're oh yeah, bear. he's a big bear. He's a big bear. Yeah. Especially because he just got waxed, so he's yeah. not a bear yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, he's yeah, just a big yeah, old got, pile of meat. Yeah, I got waxed up. Got yeah. waxed up. Yeah, you're yeah. a bear. We're yeah. a couple twinks. Yeah. You're yeah. a beefcake. I'm yeah. a beefcake. Absolute beef. <laughs> yeah, absolute beef. <laughs> you work out. I do work out, but I don't. I I'm, you I'm fucking get, psycho. I'm getting better at it, but yeah. like Joe, when he takes his shirt off, he's got a nice bod. When I take my shirt off, you're like, "Whoa, I wasn't it's expecting weird. that." It's weird, <laughs> but it fits well in a sweater, yeah. though. I I look I I I think I'm in a comfortable place where I'm okay in clothes. I'm not, you know. I I have like um. What do you, you explain me as? I look like a guy. You look like a, the a guy who leading used to, role in a Skin of Max movie. Yeah, that's okay. the kind of look. I'm, like I'm not guy. ripped. Yeah. I'm not ripped at all. But he said to Giannis, "Now I'm comfortable, good enough to go to the beach." You look like somebody's dad who's kind of in shape at the beach. Yeah, yeah. That's, you look that's, you that's, look great for 45. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But yeah. the yeah. problem is, yeah. I'm 30. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's peak, that's peak <laughs> male performance. Though, right yeah. There. yeah, yeah. But but I'm strong now, and I'm, I'm I'm just I consistently exercise. I box a lot. So you got into boxing. Yeah, yeah. I've been boxing a lot. So. I mean, I used to be like, I used to weigh like 255 pounds. Yeah, when that's I, a big boy. It was wild. I had like double chin. So I don't have yeah. that anymore, which yeah. is which feels nice. And yeah. the kid, he's got, a, he's got a big lunch lady ass. Yeah, I got an LLA. He's, got a, that thing. he's got a black lady's ass. That's yeah. what I was worried about when you guys were coming in. I'm like, yeah. Chris is going to come in here. There's a lot of expense and stuff around. I don't yeah. know. I'm not getting anything. I over. got an LLA lunch lady ass, but I have no fumes. For whatever reason is, I don't know why, yeah. no matter what, I don't have any body odor. I always just smell 100% clean. And I have, you know, he feels that way too. You, yeah. stunk, you stunk a little I bit. Stunk yesterday. yesterday. I stunk yeah, yesterday, yeah, yeah. but it's few or far in between. I don't wear deodorant at all. Yeah, yeah me neither. And I just never smell. I have no. I think Germans, we just don't have fumes. No, I've, yeah. I've, I've <laughs> smelled you a few times, and you weren't a hundred percent. No. Yeah. 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 I think it's just you. We don't smell to ourselves. No, no, but I like sm I, you smell. Yeah, no, yeah. but like you, like you're no, a you were smelly guy. Yeah, you were sleeping. I put my nose right up in your ass. <laughs> really? And it didn't smell great. Re yeah, but yeah, it wasn't nice. Was yeah. maybe I was a little too close? Yeah, you might have just did right in my are ass. You, are you one of those guys that's just lucky enough to have a hairless ass? <laughs> I have, I have, I have almost no body hair, dude. Um, I, I, I'm I actually so hairless. jealous. Yeah. yeah, of these hairless. Men. Yeah, look, I, yeah, I have no oh, hair. Yeah, anymore. yeah, looks no, like on my legs, dude, I have no hair. I have no hair on my swimmer? ass. Or my chest. Well, you were, yeah, nothing. where were you born? Fucking Chernobyl. That yeah, doesn't look, matter. Uh, probably. Yeah, he's a yeah, sphinx see, cat. See, I've no, oh my I god, he doesn't have leg hair. No, and it's just what is a very little facial. I'm just kind of sphinx cat. Yeah, they call me Chrissy the Sphinx. That's huge, though. Mm -hmm. It really is. That probably is why I don't smell. Yeah, could I be think, that. I think my I theory have, is the hair. I have a lot of hair here, but I don't. Yeah, it looks like it stinks. Yeah, yeah. but I, I pull that up. It looks like a bush. Look at that. Look at that fucking. Yeah, I, I, that's why I don't think guys in the seventies ate pussies because you'd have to get through that minefield of bush. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I top like, bush. I, I like, like a bush. I like top bush, but like not lip bush. Do you like eating puss with bush though? Lint. Yeah. No, like, no, no, no. You like no, licking no. hair? I can lick the hair. I don't mind it. I don't really go down on girls. I'm I'm going down more now, but I wasn't going on because I was constantly getting sore throats. But but now, but I I would I would eat a girl. I did have a girl with a bush, um, uh, recently, and I I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the bush. Good, Good for nice. you. Good yeah. For you. What was she like? Fifty-seven? No, no, she was a third, third, thirty. Have you tracked the chlamydia back to the vagina? No. No, no, it's it, just I don't know. Just don't that thing. Yeah, I don't know. It, yeah, that chlamydia is in the wind. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, because also like chlamydia can just be in your system for a while. Oh yeah, I was told God, that too. I hope, I hope no girls you banged are fans of the basement yard. I'm sure they You're are. Oh, a lot yeah, of phone calls. calls. There'll be a couple. Shit. A couple. Yeah, but I'm I like sure how open you are. You're, yeah, Chrissy. At some point. He just is. Oh, it's always gonna come out. It's gonna. Yeah. Be. It's like you. You. We, no oh, secrets. We did four podcast episodes where we didn't say anything about this. Yeah. And then he waited to come on a bigger podcast <laughs> to announce that he has chlamydia. Yeah. So we were keeping yeah. it secret on our podcast. Yeah. But the truth. He's like, let's go to a bigger audience so that I can now let it go. Yeah. But here's the thing with me is I'm also CWL Chrissy White lies. I couldn't also not have chlamydia. Yeah. He yeah, could yeah be so yeah. none of it's true. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right. So yeah. you, if you ask me directly and we have a personal connection, I'll tell you the truth. But this is entertainment. So yeah. I'm just going with the flow. Yeah. And saying what's funny it's all I true heard, it's I, all true but it's all also i wanted all to bullshit. say I, I wanted to say i had a drip at disney so the only way i can get that is if i say i have chlamydia so maybe i do maybe i don't we don't know so why don't you just listen into the show yeah, yeah you don't know with him you don't you never know 
You never know if he's a girl or a boy. You never know what's going on, what's yeah. true, what's false. You just don't know. You can't. You can't. If you're going to try to get us in trouble, you're not going to be able to do it because we say so many wild things. Yeah. They don't know what to get us it's for. Right. Like said, it's character piece. It's, yeah, it's, ca character, it's piece. character piece. I'm friendly with my presence. We're so whatever my presence says, that's what I'll say. And, and you learn that from your Fuhrer Eckhart Tolle. Eckhart Tolle. <laughs> I'm listening to his podcast he has with Oprah. Nice. And I'm in a good place, <laughs> mentally. Yeah. 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 You're right. a wild kid. Yeah, you, you have, have on two chains of the same thing, and I love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. With, one, di with diamonds in them. Really. One small, one big. Yeah, one small, one big. And the brother Jesus, the haven't talked to Jesus in ages. I well, love you, you guys are making millions of dollars or whatever you're making just in clothes you guys slept in last night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he looks like he just got out of bed and rolled in here. Does he no, got he's got flip-flops No, on. when I came in... Flip-flops and socks. <laughs> no, dude, when I came in, because I came in before you, he's still at his morning wood. He's still... <laughs> yeah, yeah. The kid still had his, <laughs> had his still, morning wood. still boned. He was tucking it out a little bit. He's yeah. like, what's up? What's going on? Yeah. No, so... But that's what... Yeah, but, that, but that's the beauty about about the new world oh, is that yeah. you got I, I fucking love it can you, and a lot of people hate it but can, we love it because we're coming yeah could you could you imagine if your grandfather the the great uh, Mr. San, San, Santagato yeah. came down and he, 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 he was like you're at work and you're like yeah I'm at work you're at work right now. Yeah. He'd be like, you don't have a suit on. You don't got a fucking... You're like, yeah, I just rolled out of bed and yeah. Yeah, I'm making 100 times the amount of money yeah. you did, Grandpa. And it's like, I also didn't drink 100 beers and punch Grandma last night either. So it's, <laughs> yeah, a, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good trade -off. It's a trade it's Yeah, a trade -off. Grandma, Grandma didn't get disciplined. That's yeah, yeah, great. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Start digging. Yeah. All right? Yeah. My There's Grandpa, one time I told him I was sick. I was like throwing up all night like yeah. at, at his house. He lived in Maine. Yeah. And then in the morning... Uh, my, my mother's like, she was like, I don't know, taking care of me or something. And he walks up. He's like, what's the matter? And I was like, I don't feel good. And he grabs my head. He's like, no, no, no. And then he feels my head. And he goes, and he starts smacking me. <laughs> and he goes, you don't even have a fever. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. I was like, all right. They're tougher humans back then. Oh, yeah. He's a savage. Yeah. Did I ever tell you that story how my grandpa punched that woman in the snow? No. no. Wait, she punched her. Hold on. <laughs> Listening. All right. So. Uh, <laughs> Domestic my, violence? Yeah. Yeah. No, my, my, my grandfather was just like an old fucking. Abusive man. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, kind of. Okay. Uh, but uh, was he, this the Puerto Rican side or the? Uh, this is the Italian. The side. miscellaneous. He, yeah, Italian. He, he came here. No, I didn't know the Italian Italian side was. Puerto Ricans don't really hit their wives. No, no, no. But no, the Puerto no, Rican, no, uh, the no, Italians. No. Will this hit. wasn't even his wife. Right, just a woman that I know of. You say, okay. yeah, yeah. you say Italian kids just—they have a passion for hitting. <laughs> Italian kids just like to discipline their women a little bit. <laughs> That's just what it is. It's just a part of what it is, and I know you can you can you can get mad at me for saying it. I'm not saying anything that ain't true. Yeah. Italians yeah. like to just give a little discipline. Gina, what the fuck is going on? In oh here? my god, meatballs again! This fucking garlic is not fucking sliced the way my mother did. I told you, make it like my mother. Yeah, it it Italians do have a very weird. Sexual connection with Just yeah. watch the Godfather Part One. Yeah, He's beating the hell out of that woman with a belt. Yeah, with a belt. He does. But yeah, so it was. Okay. It was. We we had drunk neighbors. I wasn't born yet, but at this time there was just like this drunk Irish couple. Like every time he would come home, he'd be like, "Oh, you fucking guinea bastard!" Like you know right, what I mean? Right, just right. like, oh, "Fuck you! Uh, get out of here!" Yeah, like, like their family didn't come here on a boat like three weeks before. Right. So they're they're there, and this woman's outside. She's like, "Angelo, you fucking Italian piece of shit!" Bah, bah. So my grandpa was like, all right, like, let me go outside. And it's snowing. It's like peacefully snowing. Right. And uh, beautiful. She's, she's, it's beautiful. And she's standing under the street, like just hurling racist things. <laughs> and uh, my grandpa, this is what my dad told me. Sorry. He uh, just puts his slippers on. He walks across the street and she's, he sees her yelling at her, uh, yelling at him, just fucking going off. And he just slapped the fucking piss out of her. Wow. There you yeah. go. And just left her in the snow. That's it. There One you go. He <laughs> slapped a random yeah. woman. Yeah. Yes. And I came back in and sat right back down yeah. on the couch. I can do you, well, not to outdo you, but just one better real yeah, quick. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my, my aunt... Uh, her husband, um, who's passed away, he, uh, somebody robbed my mother on the corner of our block. And oh, then at, at, and at the bodega, uh, there was like a, a, a pocketbook uh, purse stealing ring. They would steal women's purses and divvy up the money at the local bodega that my uncle would go to. And my uncle was there one night listening to the story. He had known his sister-in-law had gotten robbed and he is a psycho and he was listening to what was going on. And he was like putting two and two together. He's like, oh, I think that's my sister-in-law. So he doesn't say anything, but he makes a mental note. And later on that night, he gets this guy nice and drunk, brings him back to the garage in my house where he would do a lot of welding work, ties him up <laughs> and puts a blowtorch to his knees and yeah. melts the skin off his kneecaps. Yeah. Yeah. 
So, and I wasn't told about that story until years and years later. Families are great, aren't yeah, they? Families yeah, families are great. And then, <laughs> yeah. that's, just, that's just Uncle Tony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be yeah. home for the holidays. Yeah. So, so, Grandpa just fucking yeah. knocked that lady's we, teeth we, we out. We talk about it all the time <laughs> on the basement yard, and we just say, you know, it was the times. Yeah, yeah, it was the times. It was the times. Yeah, it's like, Burning I love how, like, kneecaps is, uh, and it happened when I was, like, seven years old. I love how, like, there was a man in my garage getting tortured, potentially to death, and yes. I'm just having Dunkaroos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, what my dad, that's how my dad explained it. He was just, like, sitting around. Shaking a jello, and there's a guy down Getting his kneecaps pulled. Yeah, oh yeah. Gosh. You're, so, you're, geez, I mean, it's like that's like a scene in a Quentin Tarantino movie. Yeah, yeah. dude. Was that's he like, doing this when he did it? Like, I didn't want to be yeah. here tonight. No, he's just a psycho. He's just got drunk. He's a psycho, and it's yeah. just what like, it was. I don't, don't want to get. He whacked. also used to discipline his wife. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it's. I mean, I assume that someone. It's who what it is. We used to hear that too. Yeah. <laughs> and he was Puerto Rican. What can you do? God, sorry, I'm sorry about that. No, yeah. on I'm, behalf of all of us. Yeah. Hey, what are you gonna do? We let him fly sometimes. What yeah, are you going to do? I think Catholics like to discipline. Catholics, it's Catholics discipline. It's, it's, amongst it's, other things. Yeah, because yeah, amongst other things. But like, think about it. It's like Italians, Puerto Ricans, Catholics. They they get it. They get hit by the nuns. So it kind of gets screwed into you. Uh, yeah. Because the nuns hit you guys. And, and, and the priests fuck you guys. Yeah. So you guys are in taught to deal with things in weird ways. We just missed that, though. I, no, nobody was hitting in my school. My mother and, and father got hit a lot by the, by the you, priest. Yeah. You, were, you were hitting in school. I, I Right. I was more hitting the priest. By the time I got to school, priests and nuns couldn't do anything. I definitely got a little... I got stuff screwed in by Father Bill a couple of late nights after church, but that's just what it is. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's why I have, have sexual fetishes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I didn't get hit. Yeah. My so vice at least I didn't get hit. My I'm vice glad we got there. I was going to work back You got that caressed. Point. You got caressed by a priest. Yeah. yeah. My vice principal tried to molest me once. Really? Yeah. Cute. What happened, Ed, huh? <laughs> We're all so alike. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just keep going. Let's, let's well, just yeah. trade these. Yeah, what happened? Um, uh, he was... Um, he would he would prey on, like, troubled children. Mm -hmm. So, like, when I was a kid, like, I would get in some fights or, like, tell a potential teacher to suck my penis. Sure. Or clean penis. My clean penis. Clean yeah. penis. Yeah, I wouldn't burn my teacher. Untouched. Yeah. Untouched. Yeah. Untouched clean penis. But mm -hmm. I was just like, hey, like, you know, like, fuck you. I throw a couple garbage cans through some windows. So... He worked with the troubled kids. And he was like, man, this guy's really nice. He like, gave he's, long hugs. Yeah, yeah. it's really nice. Yeah, and Sounds he, like you missed a few hugs. He, no, he hugged me yeah. one time. And it was kind of like a little weird. And like he like did like a very gay breath on my neck. Yeah, it was oh, a deep wow. breath. You know, and it was like, and I was like, well, this, okay. Right. And then he would send me letters. And then he would call me oh, late. Wow. At, and then he would call me late at night. And then my dad. <laughs> disciplined him. My Italian dad just goes. Take us through it. <laughs> My dad found like he's like sees that he sent me like yeah. a letter. He goes, kind of gay, isn't it? Yeah. And yeah. I was just like at the time I was like, no, nah, like he's helped me out. Guy goes to another school, gets busted. Sure, oh, wow. for just trying sure. to suck dick. Oh wow. yeah. After I got screwed in by Father Bill, I would just pull my dick out all the time. And then I remember one time I was with my dad, uh, hanging out it was his weekend, and I was hanging out with this with this friend of mine in the neighborhood, and uh, we were sitting on his stoop, and I just started pulling my dick out to yeah. make him laugh, which is weird. You know, he's 13 years old, and then the guy's father, the kid's father, saw me pulling my dick out and chased me down with like fucking baseball bat and was like calling me a faggot running down some block on Staten Island and I was just like I'm gonna shove this street sign up your yeah, ass yeah 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 and I was just like and I was just like running away and like ran into my dad and just like denied the whole thing but like you know like I still to this day just have an urge I always just want to kind of just let my penis out a little bit and I don't know what it is but it definitely yeah. happened after I took after I took a couple of sacraments to the face from Father Bill yeah 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. you're a disturbed kid is what it is you're it's disturbed what it is. yeah you're disturbed what can you, you do did you guys ever watch that documentary on Netflix about like all the like like the priest. Oh, the the yeah. the uh, the key the keepers? Uh, the sinner or the, the keeper. No. Oh, the keepers. Yes, keepers. I did. Yeah, the about Baltimore. The no. dude. He would. That's insane. The father would nut on them, mm -hmm. and then do the and then do the, the sign of the cross in with, the nut in his like, nut. Like like, which Wednesday. is kind of fire. But yeah, like, I mean, it's fucked up. Eternal yeah. Yeah. fire. It's hell. You're yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was the craziest thing. Well, I mean, it happens. But your mom being Catholic, right? Yes. Are you Catholic as well? No, Greek Orthodox. Greek Orthodox. All right. I'm gonna get to you later. Okay. We we got we got like. We got like no pedophilia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, we're, we're clean. We're clear. Yeah, but you yeah. guys like we you, do other stuff. You guys were like big orgy people though, right? We do a lot of weird stuff. Yeah, we like yeah. to put a lot of stuff in our butts. That's fine. Yeah, That's you cool. invented anal. Yeah, yeah you guys that. invented anal yeah. sex. Yeah. yeah. Your mom, when she sees your content now, mm -hmm. how does she react? She gets, you know, upset by some of the things that I say. Um, but it's kind of one of those things where it's like, look, yeah, it's upsetting to hear some of this stuff, but. You know, I'm also, also the kids moving tickets because of it. It's Linda. moving tickets, and it's like it's what? like, hey, do you want your rent paid still? I mean, well, that's the thing. Fuck it's, up. it's like I take care of my whole family, and like you know, 
I got my shit in order. So it's like, what, you know, I think if I was doing what I was doing and also doing drugs and also not doing well financially and not, you know, make, and my kid wasn't clean, like that would be a problem. But it's right. like, you know, he says a couple of things that are wild comedically and she gets upset by it. But ultimately she's like, I can't, you know, I have a, my doctorate degree. I have like, I've done things that a mom likes. It's, I realize yeah. that accomplishments, who cares? Like that's all your ego being like, oh, I did this, I did that. It's like, shut up. You're just, yeah. just shut up. And you have a friend from Park Slope, which is huge. And I have a friend from Park On Slope, which mind, is humongous. It's huge. Yeah. And a wow. friend, and he, and he has I have a home a, in Westchester now. So it's like, that's huge. Yeah. I, have, I have one friend in Battery Park and I'm clinging to him. That's impressive. Like a, I, like I, had one, I had one, but we lost touch and I'm not really happy about yeah. it. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. You ever been to Battery? You ever been to Battery Park? Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. You ever been there? His dad? Used to live my there. My dad used to live there. Oh, you come from money. Yeah. Like Twenty-five years. He's I knew because your sweater, Gateway Plaza. your sweater's a little nicer than his. So I'm I know from the money. Yeah. Slope. Okay, yeah. guys. Yeah. That's got a zipper on yeah. it. That does. Yeah, no. This is from the Banana this Republic situation? factory store. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. When I came here, I was like, I fucking was like, I don't know if I'm gonna. You guys, this is like a little beneath me. You yeah. know what's crazy? This is a very queen situation. I know. I know. He, yeah. As soon as we come in the door, yeah. <laughs> this is out of character. I was like, oh, you. He live comes here. up the stair. Oh. He, goes, he goes, I've never been here. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I, was yeah. Like, I don't know what to say. I don't yeah. Know what to yeah. Tell. No, he's got that vibe about. Yeah. It. Yeah. 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 You got little... a real punchable face. No, yeah. but you're, like you're. I'm little surprised little... actually hasn't been hit more in his life. Yeah. You're I've a been hit bouge. a few times. You're a little bouge. Yeah, I'm a little bouge. I like that though. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. yeah. I'm bougie as shit. Yeah. But it's, yeah. you know, cut from the same cloth, you guys. You deal with it. Not yeah. like you guys, fucking De Stefano and Santa Santa Gata, Santa Gata. Gata. fucking yeah. Union. Santa Gata. Union work. Hey guys, go look. You can fucking. You need a roof. We got your fucking roof. Who would go broke first out of you two? Um. It's what do you definitely mean? me out of us. Like, what do you mean? Like, like who's a more frivolous? I think everything we do, we do together. I think like Thumb and Louise, we just hold hands and jump off. And together. just jump off. Yeah. You guys drive. You hit that car. Yeah. Do you guys give each other financial advice? Uh, um, bit. not really. Not really. Not really. Yeah. Not he, really. He has to be my basically my financial advisor. Yeah. If I don't, if I don't talk to the kid, he's gonna be on the he's gonna be on the street. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I paycheck love spending paycheck. money. It, 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 it's you bad. just spend it. Yeah. 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 Do you well, see I mean, his you don't neck. take it. You don't take it with you. No. In the, in the next world, yeah. in the next, you also need some to, to last. You but need I also, some to last. I also Absolutely. don't have a kid yet, which was my next question. Well, yeah, well that changes things. Are yeah. you worried about your kids seeing your content at some point? I mean, I guess the short answer is yes, but also it's like I can talk to. I'll just have a conversation with my kid about what's going on. So you how? You, let me let me just an example. How are you going to explain to your kid? What a transgender ex Eskimo is. I'm going to say that's <laughs> it's what gonna daddy... It's going to be a toughie because that was hard for me to understand. I'm going to say that's what daddy was identifying that day. Yeah. Um, and uh, <laughs> and I'll show you and I'll um, we'll draw an Eskimo in an igloo and we'll draw, you know, both yeah. genitals. And, and I'll show that I can tuck one back behind the other one and then I'm a transgender Eskimo. And then he'll say, this is my friend Giannis. Show her where transgender is. And I'll come yeah. out and go, das. Yeah. Yes. And then her grandmother will come out and say, sign my ashtray. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So that's what she wanted to do. She wanted she said, Your friend is Maurice. I said, Yeah, she goes, he could sign my ashtray. His baby's yeah. mama wanted me to sign uh, uh, the ashtray that I was trying to give away. I have to talk. So he signed I, it. I, I, <laughs> I have to. <laughs> you really signed it? I yeah, signed, he signed it and it. gave it to her. That's amazing. She needed to have it and I gave it to her. Yeah, I have sad, a wild sad. I have a wild other part of my family. Yeah. Oh, I love Your that. Your whole fucking family's crazy. Do I you. was I was gonna throw the ashtray away. He said, No, I'll give it to her and then she took it. She was like, This is nice. She liked it and then she said, Wait a second, <laughs> can he sign it? So I took a Sharpie and I signed the ashtray. So somewhere That's, did you awesome. sign it on the bottom or on the like where you I put signed the ashtray? Right in the middle. Cause she she <laughs> framed it. That's going on the wall. That's not going to be you kidding yeah, me? Yeah. That's Marisa's signature. We're putting that on the wall, you, you deal. You, you wanna know what I took the most from your video? Yeah. Is that you could actually shoot a jump shot. Like all the other stuff was like, yeah. oh, this is funny. But yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, yo, yeah. it's good form. We were yeah. watching, we were watching, yeah. and yeah. we were watching a, a, one of the Morisa videos, and he goes, kind of ball. Yeah, yeah. I, was yeah. Like, yo, yeah. Yo, I was like, yo, Giannis got the jimmies. For a yeah. second, I had a little tiny game. Not as good. This kid was actually you he's the up? all time leader in St. Joe's history scoring. Yeah, but it's Division Three. But yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. fuck that. Basketball was my whole life. That's like yeah. white yeah. Division One. That's Hell like yeah. white kids yeah. Division One. Oh, I played yeah. white yeah. Division yeah. One. Yeah. yeah, if you're the leading scorer of a Division Three college, then you're a white D one athlete. You're a, pro yeah. you're a professional athlete. Yeah, yeah. you're yeah. professional. Yeah, you're yeah. professional and, basketball. And your dad was just like, oh my god, greatest athlete. Well, my dad used to. My dad used to like my red was a thousand jump shots a day every day my dad was like in between jobs or doing something illegal when i was a teenager right so we would go to farmer's oval park um farrah park they uh but they call it farmer's oval in, in ridgewood and we would take a thousand jump shots a day 
almost every day or five days a week at least. And then we would do, it was all basically drills. And then the last 200 shots, I swear to God, he had a broom that he wrote Leroy on <laughs> to mimic a seven foot guy that he assumes was black with the name Leroy. And he would hold that up and I would shoot jump shots over the broom to mimic high arcing jumpers over big men. And then I started, and then the shot got so good that I was able to just kind of hit threes or hit jump shots from anywhere. Jim Beheim, the coach of Syracuse, yeah, yeah, was yeah. like, you have a Division One jump shot and a Division Three body. I was at the Eastern Invitational. They only invite 150 high school kids. I was one yeah. of the kids that got invited. Because yeah. that's why you're a comedian. Well, they put, they you're put, so funny. They yeah. put your number on your jersey. <laughs> yeah. Like, what you number got, invitation you are. That broom yeah. story is so Yeah, Leroy. You call Leroy, the, which is also a way that they the order. Leroy stick. Which is also a way they order coffees in Ridgewood. We said this on the podcast. Instead of saying, can I get my coffee black? They say, can I get my coffee Leroy? <laughs> 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 Yeah! <laughs> you know the, the other thing oh that, that, that I've realized is is pretty crazy now. Now when you get into lifts, you have to give the person your pronouns. Have you seen that? No. What do you mean? It, so it's like if you get into a lift, it's so the lift driver can, you know, address you address you as the right pronoun. So it's like you know, sir, ma'am, they, other. Yeah, well. other but you see, this is why Trump. This is why Trump, I think, is going to win again in a landslide because, like, the, 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 there's one percent of the population cares about the pronouns. Yeah. And you have yeah. the Democrats on there be like, "We support the pronouns." Like, fuck. Okay. Nobody support cares. the pronouns. Yeah. The real, actual, ninety-nine percent of working-class people love whatever you want to be. I'm a work. Whatever you want to be, transgender. I fucking love everybody. I don't care what your pro. Who cares about the pronouns? Dude, I'll guy? call you fucking Elmo whatever, or, or dude. tranny Eskimo yeah. if you I'll want. I'll treat yeah. you with kindness and respect yeah. because you're a human being. But the pronouns, it's like if that's what you're putting your campaign on, it's like good luck, Elizabeth yeah, Warren like, and whoever. Yeah. People care about policy and yeah. money. Can they you don't get, care about like unless Andrew Yang pronouns. gets it. If Andrew Yang gets it, he might get my vote. Kid's a fucking good Chinese kid, or, and I like his policies. And you get 12 k off like, the I, bat. I, I like, yeah, I like, I'm yeah. getting twelve k from national income. Yeah, Thank I, you, Andrew I, Yang. I like Yang. No tie too. Just goes up there, not giving a fuck. But I like it. He's actually sit, like talking about things where you're going like he's got a lot of good points. Yeah. Like he, he's actually talking about the future realistically. Yeah, and he says American, he's going like guys, there's no more jobs. And he's as these American, guys are in their underwear making this yeah, is a yeah. job now. Yeah. There's he, no jobs. And he's as American as you can be because he was made in China. So it's just perfect. Yeah. <laughs> just so you know, we're keeping all this in. That, yeah. was, uh, that was a good one. Was that a good one? <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. yeah. Save it. We should have did it on our pod. Make sure you give us the clip. Cut yeah. it out. No. You ever notice? Is like, that a tweet? God, that's a good one. That's a yeah, great, that's, that's a, a great good bit. one. Have you ever noticed when you go to like, um, <laughs> it's what it is. I have, I, yeah. I have some Chinese content here. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Sorry. Uh, They're good people. They're great. Yeah. Have yeah. you ever noticed? As long as, uh, yeah. Not too hot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever noticed when you go to like Woodbury Commons, like one of those places, <laughs> yeah. like those outlet stores? Yo, Asian people are rich as shit. Hell oh, yeah. yeah. Bro, they just walk the around with the mask on and yeah. 700 bags yeah. from Chanel. Yeah. I'm like, yo, what yeah. this is Asian money? Dude, we're yeah. in a bubble. Asians are taking over the world. They are yeah. rich as yeah. shit. They are yeah. crushing it. They, yeah. There's a, a building. Our friend lives in the in the Eugene. It's like down the block from uh, Madison Square Garden. And it's like this beautiful luxury high rise building. And... It's everyone's like, Asian. Everyone's yeah. Asian. Yeah. And, and rich like, as shit. Absolutely. I'm like, wow. I'm like, if this kid's 23 years old, who I is? really believe the Chinese government is like subsidizing and like giving their citizens who move here money to just buy apartments because there's so many vacant apartments that are just sitting there. The Chi Chinese own from Beijing. Oh, dude. They, it's just a thing. Chinese are crushing it, man. They're crushing it. Every oh, time God, I'm there, just, I'm like, yo, they, they don't, they like, they don't speak the language. Yeah. Mm -mm. But they're rich as shit oh my god so i'm like how are you doing this yeah, yeah no you i know what they don't learn the language because they don't feel like they need to learn english yeah They're like you guys need to learn chinese yeah the great in about 10 it. years everyone's gonna be well, i was gonna say everyone's gonna be fucking well, speaking chinese the great roy wood jr a great friend of mine who our children hang out a lot great comedian his child goes he's, to a school he's great his child goes to a school where they're teaching them chinese and i'm like that's smart yeah roy's exactly. son's gonna know chinese and i want my daughter to know that. the fact that we that's that's another fucking systematical fucking systematic problem with america is that we just think English is fine. Yeah, we just think English and not using the metric system is fine. And then everywhere, <laughs> why, do we, why are we the only like ones who does idiots? It's crazy. Yeah, like every I don't get that. Every European I ever meet is like fluent in English. Yeah, sure. 
Well, okay, here's the thing. Here's the only the only unless it's like Bumblefuck the Italy only somewhere. defense I'll say it's not not a defense, but I think the reason is and I is because you can go, you know, three thousand miles and you only hearing English. I mean these fifty states are all English. In Europe you go a hundred miles and it's a new language. Yeah. yeah. That's the only thing. Yeah. So I think if, if Pennsylvania spoke was still speaking Dutch, we would know Dutch. Right. You know what I mean? If Florida was speaking Spanish, we would know Spanish, or we would have a more command of it. But it's like wherever we go is everyone speaking English. Yeah. So it's, and it's also like, listen, guy, we won the war, so you speak the language because yeah. we fucking won, guy. Okay. Right. It's like, listen, That's I, one know, of the perks. I know France. I know France. You know, you want to sit here and be like, you got to speak French. It's like, guy, Paris is just an extension of New York City. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. why don't you relax? <laughs> yeah, it's true. And make me a croissant, fuck face. I think everyone should <laughs> learn English, but everyone should fucking French. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. That's like, a good point. Sacre yeah, know, know the sex the language. Yeah, yeah, that's like a that's a it's sexy beautiful, language to fuck. Beautiful yeah. language. Yeah. When you say Italian it slow too. with some like some yeah. some raspiness in your voice. Yeah, like, yeah. A, like a morning like English a morning. is kind of like, that's hey, do you, do you like this? <laughs> do you <laughs> like this? Yeah. It's kind of bland, you yeah. know. But like. Yeah. French is like, I love talking during sex though. Yeah, I, that's what I'm saying. I, I love it. Fucking I, like I wish suck, I, I wish I spoke French. Do you guys like to suck on earlobes? I like yeah, to suck yeah, on a girl's earlobe. I'll, I'll, I'll bite it. Bite yeah. it a little See, bit. See, I don't bite. I like to just give a little suck. I'm into sucking. I like to suck lower lips too, lick the teeth. Yeah. I love sucking teeth. I don't know why I'm doing this too. I'm say, massaging say, a nipple. Yeah, yeah. What are you licking a teeth? Like I like to lick the bottom row of teeth and suck their bottom lip and suck on their earlobe. Wait, just a lick little the bottom row? I think if anything, you would lick up. You would lick the top And then I like to smell my dried saliva on her earlobe. Is that wild? You'd smell it? It just turns me on. But I'm also, Your own breath. But I'm going to be honest with you, and I think I said this the last time we hung out, and Giannis knows this, the, the horniest I am throughout the day ever is when I'm talking to smart guys. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So me I'm too. horny when yeah. I'm talking, having great conversation with men. Like I'm You're a, definitely a gay guy. I'm, tell, I'm not 100% straight. You I'll tell figured, you that. I, yeah. I'll tell you this. You haven't figured it out. Yeah. I, can, I haven't figured it out. I don't want to have sex. waiting for his dad to die. I don't want to have sex with a guy. I'm not into having sex with a guy, but I Yet. like to talk to guys, and, 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 and I don't mind a hairy woman. So I'll say it that way. Yeah. <laughs> you don't mind a woman in a do rag. Yeah, yeah, I don't mind a woman who who has a dick yeah. or a broom named Lero. It's what it is. Yeah. You can stick it all up my ass. <laughs> Honey, right. go get Leroy. Yeah. Uh, bef before we uh, wrap up here, we do have questions that we ask people do it. at the end of all these episodes. Let's Are you it. gay? No. Yes. That's the first question we. <laughs> it's not going to be. That, it's not going to be that. We got that answer yeah. way into this. Um, all right. So the first the first question, the sheets that are currently on your bed. Okay. How long have they been there? My, funny you ask that. Just last night, my daughter wet the bed for the third time in a row. So I just had to change my sheets. So the sheets that are currently on my bed are brand spanking new with next to no toddler urine stains on them. So she's Good pissing all over you. She's, I keep giving her apple juice at night. Can't do that. No. What an idiot. Yeah. yeah. So, no, no, no. no. I, I didn't, I didn't last. She's just, I don't know. She's just, kids just go through phases where they wet the bed. So, yeah. so are, she'll piss, she pissed the bed. Are you in like that, that, that area where it's like, is my kid like, the same as other kids i'm in that area where like, is she learning at the right rate yeah yeah well the thing is with now it's at the area where you really like i have to you know like read to her every night and talk and now i'm at the thing where it's like i'm gonna start i have to have conversation with my daughter sounds that, awful that push the ball <laughs> forward it can't just be like eat your food it's like you have to now start to be like do you understand why you need to eat Right. Do you understand why this, like, you know, why you need to say things, you know, like date certain, certain types of kids, start saying, date certain types of kids, you know, <laughs> yeah, do you understand right, right, like right, what right. tax brackets are and which ones don't <laughs> yeah. are in the lower ones and which ones in the higher ones yes. right, right. and what neighborhoods they live in. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Stuff to, like that. And how to yeah. get a tax exemption on your health insurance. Exactly. exactly. It's like, it's like, yeah. it's like you got to start to get in our mind now, like you're half, half white half Puerto Rican so, the line. so what we're going to do is we're going to be uh, Puerto Rican on college interviews and white on job interviews <laughs> <laughs> as look as. Yes. it's just what it is we got yeah. diversity we got to get in and then we get the whites get the jobs I'm guilty I'm guilty yeah. I'm guilty I'm guilty <laughs> what about your sheets uh, my sheets probably like God I, I, I'm ashamed to say I think three weeks oh wow and he doesn't yeah. have 100% clean ass Everyone's most of the time just been dying around me so Listen. I've been busy I got friends dying. I got dads dying. I don't got time to change my sheets. Yeah, and his close oh friends have God. venereal diseases. <laughs> Everyone's falling apart. Uh, my, my dad. And I just away. bought a house. I got no money. Can I work for the basement yard? <laughs> yeah, a I need money. It's a common denominator. Yeah, right any now. ad you sell on this, can we have a percentage of it? Giannis needs money. <laughs> I need money. I got no money. I just bought a house for my wife, and it, her dad didn't kick in a dollar. <laughs> it's just so funny. That's what it is. That spectrum is so wild, though, because it's like. Yeah, you know, my dad just passed away. Like, you're talking to someone, and it's like, damn, dude, I'm really sorry to hear that. And yeah. it's like, yeah, but I just bought a house. Yeah. Yeah. So there's that. There's well, that. you know, it's wild. It's actually, just to get serious for a second, being a comedian is a strange thing. 
professionally yeah. because like when you're going through emotional stuff and then your job is to go cheer people up yeah it's you have to like put a wall up that can only stay up with the help of drugs alcohol or some sort of vice right that's what i've learned and if you don't have one of those which i don't because uh, i just try to be healthy and i, I try it's just you're gonna crash bad thing you're gonna like have I, you have you got there yet oh yeah i had to cancel the whole weekend it was embarrassing yeah. i got carried out on a stretcher being carried out on a stretcher when nothing's wrong with you is one of the funniest you know, things. Uh, I, I, it, yeah, it's, hap- it's happened to me multiple and times. And you know, you know what was wild? You know, this is this is this is how connected we are. I'm I'm in Vegas doing shows. He's in Providence, Rhode Island doing shows. I get a call from the Providence, Rhode Island comedy club. From the owners of that club, call me because he passed out on stage. I'm like, what about his wife? They're like, we just figured we could get to you quicker. We, we got his emergency we, contact. We're like, we, we, he, he put down two wives, you and his actual wife. <laughs> <laughs> so we called this one first. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was just like it, it, the floodgates just it just came down and I couldn't yeah. I couldn't do comedy like I just my body was just crashing my mind I was just like a mentally exhausted because yeah. like you if you're going through shit and you and you work a regular job you just sit at your cubicle and you just yeah you zone out and do whatever but if you're like hey guys what's up yeah you know it's yeah. like you can only do that before you gotta like blow well, your I, brains out well that, right. I know because I, yeah. I was in a psych ward for four days oh no uh, I, I <laughs> saw I saw that cocktail of pills you had to put in your face before we yeah. started this thing <laughs> yeah so, uh, I was like Jesus yeah, Christ yeah, yeah. So, I was like uh, what do you got you're like I got yeah, Clonopin yeah. 15 de- Depakotes yeah, yeah. Right, now I'm ready to shoot if I don't take those everyone's yeah, dead it's, in here it's not B12 yeah I'm ready for my close up Mr. DeVille just let me hold on yeah four Clonopins I really do say though everyone should spend some time in a mental institution yeah, yeah you were a social worker at one right I was yeah I, uh, I was a social worker that had to take clients to um, yeah psych wards yeah the yeah. worst is when you go there and then you can't go anywhere yeah you're yeah. so like in prison yeah I was yeah. like I was like oh I could go they're like nah what happened you're here what do you so I had a nervous breakdown yeah yeah like, so what, like when La- two years ago two were years you ago. were you here did you see it happen Dude, we, yeah we, yeah we, I was in real time <laughs> so what happened can you explain yeah, it yeah yeah so yeah. like we'd be like so what was happening with me was is that uh I was drinking a lot, and I was uh, also the huh, yeah, yeah the, that, riding the white horse. Yeah. It happens. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, shout out to the white horse. Great, yeah. great, great person. Come on the show. Ruined my life. Yeah. Um, so I stopped doing that uh, yeah, abruptly. We, abruptly. We, we were just like because we would we I had a beer fridge next to my computer. Yeah. So like randomly, like if it was like snowing or something, or like random days, like and I like craft beer, so I would have like these you know sixteen ounce cans and be like, all right, let's just start drinking during the day. And then at one point, I was like. I, I just had asked him, I was like, yo, how, I was like, I feel like I've been drinking a lot. Like I've been drinking like every Friday, Saturday, and sometimes Thursday. Yeah. Like every single time, right? In my head, and, and like, like, not just a few beers, like no, you're like having drinking. 10 beers and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. So I'm saying that to him, I was like, I feel like I've been drinking a lot. And he's like, yeah, dude, I drink a lot too. I was like, how often do you think you drink? And then he was like, I don't know, like four or five times a week. I was like, what? what? I was like, I was like, so like a Wednesday when you're watching the Yankees, like how many beers do you have? He's like, I don't know, like six, seven. I'm like, dude, that's a lot. Yeah, yeah. That's too much. I'm like, that's not like one beer or anything. Yeah. Like that's oh, yeah. a lot. I, was, I got drunk pretty much every day. Yeah. So we, yeah. we agreed that we were just going to stop drinking for 30 days. And then he got eight days in, had a heart, had a fucking, thought he had a heart attack, then had a mental breakdown. And then he was. So what happened? Board. What so, actually, so what were the I, symptoms? So I quit all the stuff. Okay. And, um. Uh, all the stuff that I was suppressing with like alcohol and drug right. use, I was like, oh man, that's not there. And uh, I just started having these fucking panic attacks mm-hmm. where like my, I felt like I was having a heart attack. My hands would start tingling. Uh, I feel like I was going to lose consciousness. Mm-hmm. I couldn't shower. I couldn't do it. I was afraid of everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, oh, yeah. and we were doing a show. And I yeah. just started crying in the middle of it. Right. Well, I was talking to him. <laughs> oh, I said, I'm looking at him across the thing, and he he's on his phone, and he's, like, looking at something. And he I think you were, like, texting your mom at the time. And then I can see that he's starting to lose it. And I'm just and then I just, like, hit pause on the thing. And I was like, yo, what's going on? He goes, I can't. And I was like, oh, my God. And then, and then I, that, that day ended yeah. with me standing on the sidewalk and Danny standing in the street and, like, basically yelling, like, yo, I can't live like this and, like, yeah. crying. And, and was, then at was, the end of it, he was just like, I'm gonna win an award for this, dude. Because he was putting on some performance. It was like construction workers, like who's this gay guy? Yeah, they just start going. Yeah, Yeah. it's like he's got so many feelings. I literally cried into this carpet. Yeah, it wasn't this apartment though. No, 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 it was the other apartment. Yeah. So then I was like, yo, like, and then everyone starts telling you, like, yo, you're fine, right? There's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with you. And I'm like, yo, but there's something wrong with me because. So what happened was. This is a very funny story. Uh, I was thinking about killing myself, which is right. hilarious. Uh, <laughs> hilarious. Hilarious. And uh, I was like, yo, I'm either going to jump off this terrace or I'm going to go to Lenox Hill Hospital and see if they could chain me to a radiator for a couple of days. Right. So, right. So, so I did. Right. So I, I chose the, the latter. Yeah. So I get there and I'm like, yo, listen, 
and I made the mistake when they ask you, do you have you had thoughts about killing yourself? Oh yeah. And I said, yeah. No, but it was a good thing you did. You were yeah. honest. Yeah. Yeah. And th- and then they were like, all right. Psh- like they just like called yeah. a couple people, like tricked you, like brought you to another room, so like yeah. you can't run out. So they were like, "All right, so give us all of your shit." And I was like, "All my shit," and I was just like, "Yeah." They were like, "We need your shoelaces. Do you have any shorts with uh, the ties in it?" They took all my shit, and then they left me in a room with a paranoid schizophrenic for four days. Oh boy! Yeah, and you wanted to kill yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then he, was, he would, he kept <laughs> like, asking Fuck, me, "I made the wrong choice." He would yell in the middle of the night oh, and saying shit. I was stealing his things. Yeah. So I didn't sleep for four days. Oh, good. So what happened though was is that they set up like a good network for me. Yeah. I got out. I've been in therapy since. I've been clean. Mm. Um, and I just learned coping mechanisms and way right. to deal with my shit. Yeah. Because yeah. I had a lot of shit that I didn't address. Yeah. And I had to address it with, especially with the people that I didn't yeah. address it with. Yeah. And that shit is humbling as fuck. Yeah. Hell yeah. Just being like, hey, remember that whole period where I was just a fucking piece of shit? Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah. This is why. Yeah. 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 And, but like, you know, having the physical symptoms, like I went to a hospital on a stretcher. And I was like, I'm dying. And they were like, dude, here's some like Ativan. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. yeah. I, you know what I mean? I was yeah. like, oh, okay. Yeah. But yeah. you know. Yeah. All right. That's what drugs and alcohol. That's why. Yeah, they usually do Usually a lot of people would do that to drown that out. Yeah. And because uh, it's easier. It, it is easier. But yeah, know. I had to stop all that yeah. shit because I was losing my but fucking mind. If you're thinking to hurt yourself out there, tell people. Yeah. 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 Tell someone. Get, get help. Yeah. yeah. There's that's, no shame in getting help. No. That's the hardest thing was. That's that like Italian Social bravado. Social me. I couldn't leave that. No, but that's no, it's true though because yeah. there, there is like that Italian bravado yeah. where it's like. Uh, just bury it. Yeah. My father like buried shit for years, and now he's in therapy, and he's like the nicest guy ever. Yeah. My dad didn't tell me he loved me until he was like twenty seven. Uh, like, until I was like twenty seven years old. Yeah, yeah. You know, well, he weird. doesn't love you. That's what I'm saying. He yeah. just says it now. What can you do? You know, my the dad doctors told him he got, you got to start saying it, or else you're going to lose your kid. He's like, all right, I'll say it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, he he's con- yeah. He's contractually obligated to say he loves me now. <laughs> exactly. That's usually what it is. Yeah. It's like, yeah, if he wants to get some fucking when cheese from the basement yard. you do a contract with you go like, all right, I want this amount of money and 14 I love yous. And that's yeah. in my contract. And yeah, I want five hugs. I need hugs. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's got a few to make up. He's The yeah. year's running out. He's... 12 behind. Let's just say Dude, I keep looking at the sign and in my head, I, it's making me laugh. I keep going, Santa Gato Studios. <laughs> <laughs> Santa Gato Oh, we didn't light Studios. it up. We didn't light it up today. All right, it's so like this next options. question. Okay, yeah. yeah. This next question is it's along the lines. It's very serious like that if you guys are all right with answering it. Uh, name five kid rock songs. Um, b- Bod with the Ba. Okay. We got uh, one. Diggy Dang. That's what? I, I need to confirm. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bog with the bog, a dig a dang. Oh, oh no, yeah, that's the same, the same song. song. Okay, same song. Same song. Uh, the nookie. I did it all for the nookie. That's, that's Limp Bizkit. Bizkit. Oh yeah. shit. <laughs> No one's been able to do this, by the way. I don't know. I don't know any Kid Rock. Kid Rock USA, or is that his bar? I don't know. Yeah, I don't. Fuck <laughs> uh, Kid Rock USA. I, I don't know any Kid Rock. Can songs. we name like? Um, what's another guy like Kid Detro- Rock? Detroit. Isn't he from Detroit? Yeah. <laughs> he, he probably definitely has a song named Detroit, so I'm gonna count it. He's got that one. Ba with the ba, the bang, the bang. That's Kid yeah, Rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm junk the boogie. We've established that. That's the only song. Is that I the know. main one that we would know? Yeah, is there yeah, another yeah. one that uh, we might know? There, there's a couple. Yeah. Uh, remember they like, called me Kid Rock. They called me Kid Rock. That's that same song. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> You're just doing the whole verse. No, yeah. but he had that other song. Uh, I want to be a cowboy, baby. Uh, I want to be a cowboy, baby. Sound um, yeah, wait, I sound thought that was damn, Hootie yeah. who did that. No, no, no. no, no that's right, not Hootie. No, Hootie probably has one of those. Yeah, <laughs> I got one eat the booty like groceries. Yeah, I was so taken <laughs> taken back when I found out Hootie was black for some reason. Yeah. Really? Why are you taken back? Because Explain you know, because yeah, you know, talk about it. When you're a kid, <laughs> when you're a kid, do you remember when you were a kid and you honestly didn't really know what like artists look like? Yeah. yeah. You just heard their music. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, I was like, yo, I listen to so much rap music, and then I saw a picture of Hootie and the Blowfish, and I was just like. Yeah. Oh, yeah. he's black. I, wanna be with you. I was yeah. like, "That's a black man." Different. I thought the Beastie Boys were black when I was a kid. See, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. All, All right. right, next yeah. question here. We have uh, somebody. One day, I hope gets that Kid Rock question. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what's something you have to do every day? Like, and not like take a shit or piss or uh, jerk off. Now, I gotta mm-hmm. speak to Chrissy every day, once a day. It makes me happy. That's yeah, good. speak That's to nice. Chrissy every day. I gotta text with Chrissy at least once a day. Okay, and it makes me feel good. Uh, yeah. I, I, so that, well, that's his answer. Um, so I'm involved, no, but I'm involved in that one. So I guess that, that also counts as my one, but me, something I got to do every single day. Are you still Googling James Harden without a shirt on? I, uh, no, not James, Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy. I Google Tom Hardy without a shirt on. <laughs> back in the day. I'm guilty. Back, I'm guilty. Back in the day. Um, something I have to do every single day. 
Um, Antibiotics, you don't have to do that anymore. I don't have to do that anymore. That was for 14 I mean, my yes. daughter, I yeah. speak to my daughter every day or see her, but that's like too Get easy. yelled at by the situation? Get yelled at by her mom. Um, that's that happens every day. <laughs> Situ the situation. situation. Yeah. So you guys are on good terms. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I got to take my omega-3 fish oil pill That's every single is. day. Nailed okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For good heart health and yeah. brain health. And burp that shit up yeah. for the next Burp that up. Yeah. Yeah. The next question is what animal best describes you. We're not going to ask that because we know yeah. that. You know, it's high. Yeah. It's high. Yeah. Yeah. So That's, you could ask, that, that's you, easy. You that's easy. That one. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go left uh, left to right. Stage left to right. Um, got it. Rate yourself one to ten. Four. I, I need decimals. Elaborate, elaborate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No rookie scores. I'm a f okay. No, I can't go four. No, you, you gotta can go get, four if you you'd like. Four. Yeah. You can go flat four if you feel it's like. It's a bullshit four. score. But go ahead. Yeah, I'm that's four. bullshit. I'm stupid. I'm really stupid. I can't do math. I have to push the bill over to my girlfriend, uh, my wife. See, I'm stupid. I'm calling her. She's my <laughs> wife. I call my girlfriend. I gotta push it over her so she can do tips. I, I, uh, I, we'll fix that part to keep you out of yeah, trouble. Yeah, I'm fucking stupid. I'm fucking stupid. Yeah. So I'm a four, and I'm like an almost handsome kid. Yeah. I'm like I look like John Stamos if John Stamos had something bad with him. Yeah, you look like yeah. you do. Yeah. Yeah. I look you, like a like a John Stamos's brother who got the other genes. You look yeah. like yeah. yeah. You look like John Stamos's business manager. Yes. Yeah. Who is yeah. also his brother. You do got some Stamos. In I look him. like John Stamos's ugly brother. I'm gonna bump that yeah. up to a six. Yeah. yeah. Uh, because ju a, just because of Stamos. I'll take oh, yeah. a fucking six. Thank you. I mean, come on, you fucking sex rocket. I'm gonna say I'm gonna give myself a seven point five because my favorite band is the 1975. Okay. Um, and then. <laughs> I love that band, and I've, I'm the only uh, straight guy at the concerts. <laughs> um, and uh, so that, I would say, I'm only going to give myself a 7.5 today at this, because I feel like I'm coming into the best version yes. of myself. Eckhart that is Tolle. Tolle. Eckhart Tolle. This is okay. getting uh, <laughs> Yeah, because I feel like I'm staying in the present now as much as possible, reminding myself to stay in the present. Um, I, I've accepted things as they are, not as I wish they were, which okay. is the thing that George Washington was famous for doing, why he was a great leader, because he didn't, you know, he was just accept them as they are. Now you're wishing, you spend a lot of energy wishing. You got to do it as they are. Um, now, if you ever have Andrew Schultz as a guest and you ask him what he rates himself, he's going to go 20, baby. Yeah. You said 1 to 10, I'm going to say 20. It's what it is. I, I tried to give you the future and you didn't want it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm in my prime. Um, Wait, uh, so you think you go up or you're going to go down? I, from now, from, from today. now, from today, I think that I'm, I think that I'm, I'm trying to go up. I would say this. I'm happy at, if I never got any higher than a 7.5, I'd be very happy with that. You're perfectly comfortable. I'm perfectly comfortable just being... Seven and uh, and a not half. content, comfortable. Co I'm comfortable with it. Right. Com well, I feel like being a 7.5 is good enough for to give my daughter a good life. Dude, I yeah. just think about my kid now. <laughs> yeah. Dude, chlamydia <laughs> saved your fucking life. Yeah. yeah. Even before Have that, that, Sam Adams with chlamydia. No, but, listen, yeah. it, there's always a buildup. There's always a buildup of stuff yeah. that helps you change. Sure. Mine was a nervous breakdown. Yours was chlamydia. Yes. Yeah. It's maybe okay. yeah maybe yeah 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 i mean i was feeling this way before that i think chlamydia just like you know solidified, solidified. Yeah. it was just a cherry on top <laughs> it was a cherry on top it was it was yeah it was the bacteria on top it was the yeah. bacteria it was yeah. the drip on top it was a drip on top have a little chlamydia chowder and you're good to go exactly uh what game show do you think you guys would be best on uh, yeah. the newlyweds yeah. yeah 90 day fiance <laughs> do you guys do you, yeah i fucking love that show <laughs> i've never seen an episode it's terrible yeah yeah is it really 90 days and then you marry them do you have to marry them or what's the deal i don't know we're going on it though yeah, we're going on. no yeah. I, I actually what game show I, I mean jeopardy no um maybe you know what i would say wheel of fortune because we're a couple of kids that spin the wheel yeah we, spin we like the to wheel. spin the wheel that's how i got chlamydia i'm spinning the wheel yeah, yeah. i'm good at spinning the wheel wheel Russian of fortune roulette. yeah yeah he spins the wheel with everything when like whatever comes out of his mouth it's a wheel spin it's a wheel it's, spin is it going to be true is it going to be a lie i don't just know doesn't don't matter know. I, I, go, I could go on a, a podcast right after this uh and just give completely different me yeah oh yeah, yeah. that's yeah. A, that's the best part about being a sociopath and yeah. a sociopath yeah is that we yeah. can just be people that we just made up that day. Well, yeah. that's like people get all bent out of shape, like even with stand-up or stuff. Like, is that is what you're saying true? Who cares? Why don't you just, for an hour, just be present in the moment and well, just enjoy the entertainment. Yeah. Just enjoy it. Yeah. That's why it's like, listen, have fun. Just stop okay. worrying about everything. Yeah. Take a little time off. Yeah. Take a little for time a, for you. For being a little tight booty boy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what's your least favorite feature about yourself? At least if it, my eyes are too close together. Yeah, yeah, those things are touching. He's yeah. got two. He's got two eyes are too close. Yeah, I look like a cyclops. I mean, almost. Yeah, yeah you want to see him without the glasses because these frame them and separate them. Oh, let's see it. But look. Okay, yeah, put them back on. Yeah, yeah. put the glasses. Yeah. I got back one on. eye, yeah. guy. It's, it's the third one. eye. Yeah, 
He's yeah, he's he's human ayahuasca. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm one third eye's open. My nickname is One Eye Guy. Yes, his name his nickname's Yanni Ayahuasca because he's got a third eye. <laughs> yeah, that's it. And I got no butt. Yeah, it's got no butt. My uh, my nipples. I have I have <laughs> nipple <laughs> nipple. I have an off center nipple. One of my nipples looks like an anteater. That's why I wear. Wait, sh- it comes out. It comes out. Points I wear down. sweaters like that that were you know because hide the nipple fat. Uh, have you have you ever pinched your nipples before a photo? Uh, you, no, you I never thought them? to do that. I, I, no. I, I do that sometimes because yeah. I, I don't want to have soft nips and picks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I got I got salami like kind of just like pinkish off centered nipples. That by far is my uh, um, my chesticles in general are the worst part about me. Would I you think. would you do like shirtless modeling though? I don't think I can physically. Like no one would want you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's always, it's always like it's the a casting director described me perfectly once. He said, "You have leading man face, best friend body." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. That's what makes you so funny. It's like you also you had a division one jump shot in a division, in a division three, three body. body. <laughs> yeah. It's just this, this. I have these gifts that just kind of aren't right there. Uh, that's right why you do comedy. Because yeah, yeah. if you Chrissy it, breaks even. Because if I was a leading man face with a leading man body in division one jump shot, in division be one funny. body, I wouldn't be funny. And I would have a career in something yeah. else. Well, that's another yeah. thing too. Yeah. It's like, yo, how many comedians are just like complete smoke shows, like dudes? Nah, no, not, not many. many. Not many. You got to have something off, yes. or else you're not going to be funny. Because yeah. if you're just going to yeah. be a smoke show dude, then you'll yeah. just be an actor. Yeah. yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um. Oh, I go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, last question. Yeah. Are you happy today? I'm very happy today. Yeah. This was a lot of fun. This I'm is a real question. Like we we actually mean this one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, today I'm today I'm happy. I just bought a house yesterday. Congratulations. Yeah. Um, very cool. One day you. I will. Pr- hopefully What's the do address? Oh, gonna, you guys Can you come, make me? A I key? want you guys to come over now. Yeah. 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 yeah it's got a nice little. Crack. I, I saw you said it. What's the shoe off? Shoe off. I'm going shoe off. Shoe off. I'm going Japanese on my house. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nobody's yeah. You have shoes. to establish that from the jump. Though. I know. Yeah. You're gonna have some fucking. F- Fucking shoe wearing freaks, especially in yeah. the winter. People walking in just putting fucking mud no. everywhere. I know. Get Can't your sockies on. Do you yeah. have a mud room? Uh, I don't know what we got yet. We could make. Do you have a room for me? Yep. Yeah. I got a That's room for dope. the base. We're, yeah, we're gonna fucking twenty twenty. We're gonna turn my house into a studio. That's what <laughs> yeah. it is. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna do. You Podcast need a guestie studio. for your bestie. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. You do. Yeah. You do. That's so today thing. I'm happy. Today. And, and, and you're happy as well. I'm happy. Yeah. I'm happy. Eckhart Tolle. Eckhart. Eckhart Tolle. No. I'm happy. Yeah. I'm happy because. I feel like um, I was I was I had like a scare, a real scare, and it's on the other side now. So I feel like whew, I was just like given some clarity and with really not that much, not that many scars, and I just feel extremely lucky. And it's a small, it's small, but it's like another little lease on life. You got out a little lease on life, and also I'm happy because I'm just I'm in I'm in the present. I, yes. I'm just trying to stay in the present, and I really don't have. I'm very happy with my present. I got a. A daughter that I love, a career that I love. I don't need to add anything else. That's awesome. Yeah, we're 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 just blessed. I mean, look at what we're doing. We're just having. This is our job. We have a. Yeah. It's, if you if you if you take a step back and try to give yourself perspective every day, it helps. Yes. Be like, hey man. You have to. It's all, everybody yeah. should do that at least once. My in grandfather a day. had to work like twenty eight hours a day. Yeah. And that was his life. Oh, he's a Greek kid. Obviously owned yeah. a diner. And like Greek I, people have a great way I'm of making more hours in, in the three day. minutes. And, I, I, and this was my job. Yeah, Are you yeah. kidding me? You yeah. know what I? You know what I'm? Why I'm happy too? Because I identify like as Chris. I identify just as me. I, I, my job is not a part of me. My yeah. You know, my you know my, me being a father is 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 not a part of me. It's like all these things. I I mean I love being a dad and but it's like I'm just happy because I'm me. It's yeah. like so if you took everything away from me, it's like you know you had people in. Japan for a long time like you would have your job for life and then they started to as you know democracy started to creep in there they started to fire people like right. how, how it is now Japanese men were killing themselves left and right yeah because they identified only as their job and then you take their job away or it's like you know my mom worked for 30 years and then she loses her job she's like what am I supposed to do or when people retire it's like oh, we yeah. don't yeah. with this career you don't have that because I'm me every single day yeah so everything I do as a dad as a comedian it's all always me so I don't. I'm not identifying with anything but me, so it's cool. You know, I never thought about it like that because I feel like I, I've been on both sides where I worked jobs where, you know, you you do become part of that. It's like, oh, you're the the cashier. You know, yeah. you're not who you are. You are the cashier for that yeah, time. Yeah, that you're in there. That's, that's or a, even great point. a lot of people do that too. Like if you've never worked in the service industry, like you walk into a place and it's like sometimes people treat waiters or you know chefs or whoever I hate as shit. as like oh they're they're a chef. This is their job. This is what, it's like no, that's a 
dude. It's so, a human being. That's a person. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, so that is an interesting perspective. I never thought and I, about and it. And I also there think, you go. I also Get think, chlamydia. Yeah. You'll be clear. <laughs> <laughs> you think you're clear now? Yeah. This has been a great sponsor for chlamydia. This yeah. yeah. Episode. Absolutely. <laughs> but that's a, a, a great sponsor. I always think about that, too. It's like, because uh, you want to know, we don't really think about it because like we're in the hustle and bustle, like trying to like make content and put shit out. Mm -hmm. But it's really nice when like someone will send you like a genuine comment and just be like, dude, you're great. Hell and, yeah. And, and you, like, you've like saved my life. And I'm yeah, like, yeah. dude, I'm just some fucking fat dude from Westchester. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah. it's like, it, it really shows that like, you know, yeah, it, it, we, we got into this for a reason and we're doing it the right way. And yeah. It's yeah. just a great feeling to know like, you know what? I was right about something. Yeah. Cause that's the true currency. You know, that's, just, that's the thing that lives on after you is the energy you put out. It goes in other people, goes into their kids, sure. it goes in your kids. Because all the other shit, we're all going down. Because like Chris we're said, all going it's like down. A, like you, yeah, can't yeah. you can't take money with you. I'm not taking any of this shit with you. My goal in life is that when I go and people come to my funeral, they go, you know what? That was a good guy. Yeah. yeah. That's all I want. That's yeah. it. That's all I want. And yeah. it's not that hard to get. And I feel like people complicate like everything in their life, like you know, worrying about this and that. But it's like at the end of the day, I think that's what everyone wants when yeah. you really ask them. Yeah. And it's like it's not that hard. Yeah, you know? yeah, he had his stuff, but don't, you don't know be what? a piece he's of a good, shit. He was a good don't guy. A piece of shit. Yeah, it's very. You know? easy. Or you could be a piece of shit, but you yeah. know, get back on the right track. Yeah, yeah. before yeah. you go. Yeah. Or if you're a piece of shit, don't pretend like you're not a piece of shit. Because oh, those man. are the real pieces of shit to me. Yeah. I respect pieces of shit. Yes. If you if you're upfront about being a piece of shit. Yeah. I don't like the people who pretend like they're not and then they are. Because yeah. that's a real piece of shit. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. other ones I just kind of respect. I'm going so like, you know what? It's really true. I respect. You know, you're an asshole and you you, you say yeah. you're an asshole and you're upfront about it and I respect that. Yeah. I don't like when you're pretending this is something that it's not. Yeah. Because that's what that's what cowards do. That's what cowards do. Yeah. yeah. Be who you are out front. Absolutely. If you're gonna fuck me, fuck me. You yeah. know? Yeah. 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 Sure. Don't for pretend sure. not to fuck me. I'll for fuck sure. you. Yeah. Yeah. A grinder yeah. at Christy Comedy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, make sure. Um, also, guys, it was fantastic having them on. Yes. Where can we find you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, because he usually does the outro, so I didn't yeah. want. I didn't want to get slapped. Uh, yeah. You know. Uh, uh, he's Italian. Kid, he's gonna discipline you. Yeah. yeah. What do you guys yeah. got going? When on? we leave, he's gonna fucking smack me. Him. You can check out all my dates. ChrisDComedy.com. Um, I got. Uh, what is that? No good. ChristyComedy.com. No, no, no. Because I don't know why I looked at you. Yeah. I got a bunch of stand-up dates he was coming discipline up. You. I don't yeah. know when this episode's coming out. Yeah. But but I'm in Denver, Atlantic City, fucking Portland, all all these all these Newark, New Jersey, Newark, New Jersey theaters, theater gigs. So I need the tickets to come. ChristyComedy.com. Giannis Pappas Comedy .com, New York City Gotham Comedy Club February 21st and 2nd and then Uncle Vinny's in Point Pleasant New Jersey the following weekend February 28th and 29th and listen to our podcast History Hyenas and check out our website for that HistoryHyenas.com we got a bunch of fun stuff up there and we got uh, Patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys if you want to be part of the matriarchy and get your pseudo penis wet yeah and also check out Eckhart Tolle he'll help you find your third eye <laughs> he'll yeah. help you get your third eye and you can look like Giannis yeah. and get tested I think that's, get a, that's the moral get, of this test. get tested yeah, yeah. because if you do have chlamydia then get ready for a new life yeah. <laughs> that's what it is that's, that's what I'm telling happen. you get tested don't worry yeah, it's, it's a new beginning yeah, people yeah. after listening to this episode people are going to get chlamydia and be like thank god God, yeah. God. yeah, I needed this. Yeah, now you know I see the yeah. light. Tweet your, tweet your results. Hashtag Chrissy Chlamydia. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> there will be comments in the YouTube like, you know, like I never really thought about it, but like Chris really opened my eyes about chlamydia, and I'm actually going to take his advice and like, yeah, and go move get forward. it. Or you're going you to just it. start having people go too far, and they can just be. I want to be open. I have full blown AIDS, yeah. and I've had it for years, and now I am a monk. You're yeah, after that. the comments in the episode are going to go with like oh, uh, that to like uh, you guys were talking about the queen again yeah, 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 yeah. and then yeah, other yeah, guys yeah. going like I thought this was a fucking home improvement podcast <laughs> <laughs> wait go back to the glue yeah you can have a real I'm doing rage, drought work a real range of comments that runs uh, the gamut fuck oh, that man. is fine alright All right, cool guys thank you for coming on it was thanks a lot of fun having, thanks for having me we'll see you guys next time